I forgot to take that out. Sorry, yeah, sorry, Brian. Brian's face. Brian's like, 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 like yeah, hey, duck's still here. <laughs> I forgot. That was on purpose, man. Out. Even Bob's face was like, oh, uh, Bob, 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 Bob doesn't see it, right, Bob? Bob's speechless. I see what? You don't see the duck at the end, do you? Uh, I do not see. Yeah, he doesn't see it because I don't see a duck anywhere. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't get to see it because it's too slow. Well, welcome to the Friday Night BS Show. We are at my cousin Joe's house. Thanks to Joe for letting us do this tonight. Uh, we're gonna just just the first half hour of the show. We're gonna do a little cooking thing. Mike was gonna do it, but I'm gonna do it. He's gonna give you commentary while I do it, and uh, it should be fun. Uh, we got uh, chicken. Oh God. Fettuccine Alfredo and chicken in a white wine sauce. And, oh, there's Kate. Uh, who is that? That's Kaylin. Oh, Kaylin. oh, okay. I didn't know who that was. Yeah, so we're going to start doing that right away first. So uh, what's how's everybody doing? Well, oh, let me Sorry. Look, we got Bruce and Mike yeah. in the house. Okay, got this Bruce? Here. Bruce? Bruce? Bruce, you can say hi. You can talk, Bruce. Talk. Oh, this is a speaking part. Yeah, you oh. can talk. You can talk. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Morgan. You guys can see the screen. I can't see it back here. Bruce is the only one with a fucking tan. Golfing tan. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Megan's here. I usually would be, but I haven't been working outside the last couple of months, so I'm yeah. still. Well, we got, we got, right. we're going to start. I'm going to go ahead and start this right away and uh, we'll, we'll switch over to the other camera. The other camera's on there. So I'm going to kind of. I like how you like ask everyone how do they're doing. Layout. How do I do this again? I want to do the. Uh... So, so, oh. so you ask everyone how they're doing, but then Bob and I just sat here. Right. Okay, I know. That's what I'm saying. John, you can get to cooking and we'll talk. Yeah. There you, you go. Why you doing it? Why just, just do it and leave it the four thing? Nobody needs to see that up there. Well, I'm cooking. Yeah, cooking. yeah oh, that's no, me cooking right there. This is me. All this right. Way you guys can talk. You're sitting on that seat or something. I'll, I'll start. Yeah, Bruce, get the stool out of the way before you cook the stool. Cook the stool. Okay, this, this seems more complicated than what it should be. Mike, take care, take care of it. Uh-oh. No, it's fine. Um, <laughs> so, guys, how are you guys doing? Bob? Brian, one of you. Good, good, good. I think I forgot one of the main ingredients. I am <laughs> not doing too bad, except for Mother Nature up here is drunk. We went from like 80 degrees to like 40 degrees, and now we're like we're in a drought effect, a fire warning, and then now we're back up to the possible snow. So we don't know what's going on up here. You guys went from a fire <laughs> warning drought to snow <laughs> to snow. Yeah. Wow. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, I, so I, I yeah. We were bad over here. We're going to get our first 100 degree days here. Uh, Monday yeah. Hmm? Yeah, Mother first Nature's just pissed at us. Oh, that's Jesus great. That I'm, first day right. I'm back you, to work. You didn't know about that, did no. you? No. Oh, yeah. First day I'm back to work, 100 Monday, degrees. Awesome. Monday, Monday Tuesday. Yeah. yeah. One's supposed to be 105 and 102. Hot. Yeah. You know what's been weird is we've been having colder uh, nights. Yeah. Which has been nice. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the nights are awesome. Yeah, nights yeah. have been cooling down. So like you open up uh, a yeah. window in Rich mm -hmm. You go down to Save Mart down the street. What'd you forget? <laughs> See, John forgot something already. What'd you forget? The I forgot the heavy window oh, in the house. Oh, shit. Well, I'm going to start this here. See, see now this is this is already a bad idea. He's already, already improvising and he I'll hasn't started a it. thing yet. He's winging it. <laughs> I'm going to wing it. We can start with one topic while We're somebody safe, goes to the store We're real safe. quick. <laughs> Brian, or John, how do we turn this up a little bit? See, I, I'm okay with that, Bob. Like, that'd be great. Yeah. Except for you guys' city is bigger than ours. So, like, we can, like, take five minutes, go to the store and back. You guys, oh, no, like, no, it no. takes Mike two... It takes Mike two hours to get to work. Seriously, like no, it's no, not no, a no, simple no, drive. We're in a no, different part of the. We're in a different part of the state. Save Mart, Save Mart is is five minutes away. They can be there in less than five minutes. And, and I can, back in. Yeah, I can be. A, I can be at Walgreens in like two minutes. Yeah. Well, how do I turn this one on, Jeff? Yeah, no, but are, right are they going to have the heavy whipping cream? Yeah, they probably don't. Have no, part of Modesto's powers out. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, that's right, because the lights were messed up. I yeah, the lights that. were flashing coming down Coffee Road. So you guys are in the part that has power? 
This is why, like, all the people are coming over? Yeah, we're, we're, yeah. we're doing this by candlelight. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you want to highlight somebody's comment, Mike, just move the thing over and it'll bring it up right here. Oh, okay. I'll oh, click on it again to hide it. So we got. Yeah. Well, hey, and you can also ban people. Yeah. No, no, Brian, check this out. PGE here in California and Northern California, they will they will take turns picking days to shut off everyone's power oh, yeah. during fire season. Yeah. Yeah. They call them rolling. Well, not, it's not a rolling, rolling blackout. blackout. It's, yeah, rolling blackout. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's yeah. a planned blackout for the foothills. So. Yeah. Yeah, just because of our fires and stuff. Yeah. Because our fires are getting ridiculous. People like. Okay. I, okay, John. John, what kind of olive oil are you using, John? Because we that's might as well. A, that's a massage, massage oil from the bedroom. Avocado olive oil. Show us the bottle. You can't. Joey puts them in these little bottles. Oh, that's okay. Your, and and. and can we it's get more of, a, of a, an Italian accent going on? Yeah. We're going to change it to uh, Aioio. Is that how you say it? Aioio. And I'm going to have to bring Joey a whole bunch of olive oil tomorrow. So, yeah. John, is this like the same oil you use in like the bedroom? <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, he doesn't want to. He, he told us that he, he forgot the whipping cream. But yeah, the, 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 the thing no, is, the yeah, whipping dude, cream I, is I bought, gone. I think he used all the whipping cream. He up. used all the whipping cream. I bought, I, dude, like, you know, this whole meal cost me $80. <laughs> okay. A meal for $80? Holy crap. California, I mean, McDonald's is 20 bucks. Yeah. 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 Huh? It's for four. It's a what? It's a meal yeah, for, for four, four people, yeah, 20 it's a bucks. Meal for four, so that's pretty good. 20 bucks a person. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Is it actually a meal or is this like the like the entree and then like you don't get any apps before it? Joey's well, gonna, bring, no. they're, Joey's they're, gonna they're, bring us the uh, appetizers. Appetizers are, are warming up yeah, right now. When you're ready. Okay. They're on the bar. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, we have appetizers. You can eat those now. Bob's like, all right, so you fuckers, I, I how come you didn't invite me over? Yes, no, so I'm thinking that uh, Buffalo Wings don't isn't a good appetizer. For, for, for pasta, right? No. Sure it is. Absolutely. I Buffalo mean, wings go with everything. Wings, but... wings is like a, a to go to. Okay. I don't I'm going to have to make the uh, fettuccine for myself later at home. <laughs> Here comes the appetizers. Fred off, fresh off the barbie. Like some. Yeah, show them in that picture. Yeah. Oh well, we didn't make pizza. The there's there's, 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 there's the assistance. Look at those babies. Oh. Whoa. We did. We did. We did. We do want to apologize, Bob. I did forget to ask you. I was gonna say, man, look at it's that. Like he's not that far away, anyway. Yeah. Uh, I'm so, so. I would love to, but I am dog sitting for a friend. See, and and her dog is right now is not very com com compatible with my dog, so oh. I'm kind of playing referee right now. Oh jeez! So can you explain to the viewers what those things are and yeah, what they're so, made yeah. out of and all that fun jazz? Do I really have to do that? All right, damn straight you okay, do. Okay, you want to get your shit show, together? You don't want to explain what we're eating. All right, yeah, these get are your shit together. Bruschettas, Bruschettas. And it's got uh, it's a baguette with pesto, real mozzarella cheese. Uh, some capers and tomatoes and a little bit of olive oil. What's up, Frankie? Okay. What's a, what's a baguette and what's okay, a John. caper? Yeah, caper is. So how do you say? What is like a a real mozzarella made out of? What's that? The mozzarella. What is real mozzarella made out of. It's made out of buffalo milk from Italy. You you man you are the bomb, dude. Thank you. I just learned that. <laughs> you did you just Google it's that? It's water buffalo. Yeah, water, water buffalo. buffalo. In yeah. Italy, yeah, they use water buffalo. Water Here buffalo. in the States, they use cow milk. Yeah, they use cow milk. I think milk. it's one or only yeah. one or two places they use water buffalo in the States. Yeah. Everybody's got a water buffalo. And then uh, Joey finished grilling the chicken. There's the chicken. Uh -huh. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's probably hot. That's cheese. They, oh, they okay. are hot. And unfortunately, we're going to do Aya Oyo tonight because... <laughs> John forgot. Now this is this is getting hot right here, Joe. Yeah, I want to make sure. Bob, you watching any of the playoffs or no? Yeah, this is. Um, I watched a little bit of the um, 
of the Celtics and the Nets the other day. Then I watched um, a little bit of Phoenix and the Lakers, but I turned it off. Joey was watching. Although I did watch, I did watch the uh, Wild win the other night. I watched the hockey game. Oh, okay. So, John, what did you just do there? Because Mike's not paying attention. All right. Yeah, we just this is just <laughs> some olive oil and some and some diced garlic. I'm just going to heat that up. And as soon as you start okay. smelling the olive oil, you're, I'm going to I'm going to actually I got it on really low because I want this pasta. To, I pre cooked the pasta already. That's kind of something you can do. I do it because my dad likes his pasta a certain way. So I pre cook his pasta and I always put it in the bag in the freezer and then I could just take as much as I want. Warren, because he doesn't like it al dente. He likes it real mushy and gross. So this is al dente, though. This is only cooked for like 10 minutes. It's still got a little bit of bite in it. But you can uh, you can do that. A lot of people do this. And it's something I learned a long time ago in a restaurant. It helps restaurants, too. Sometimes restaurants will pre-cook their pasta and put it in bags, and then just drop it in, in, in boiling water. And as soon as Joey's thing gets boiling over here, we will... Be eating. Chicken, the chicken get done? The chicken's done, baby. The chicken's Bob, done. did we even talk on Monday about uh, Phil slices. winning the mass, uh, winning the, the, the tournament? Actually, we did not. I was going to say, we totally forgot. I don't know how I forgot about that. But you guys missed yeah, all yeah, that. We, yeah, we've got to talk about Phil. He's and I did watch, I, I did watch uh, part of the, of the last round. And then, yeah, he's and then, the oldest guy to win. Yep. And then the uh, Brooke and uh, uh, the Shambo kind of rubbing each other wrong. Yeah, way. yeah. Oh, Bryson's uh, the Shambo oh, yeah. and Brooks captain. Yeah, and then, then and of course they got the match coming up where you've got Phil and uh, Brady versus uh, Kepka and uh, Rogers. Oh. Okay. Nice. Yeah, man. Phil was. That was awesome to see him win. I've always been a huge fan of Phil. Absolutely. He's a good dude. So great. He's so a, great, he's a great scrambler. <laughs> he, man, he can get himself into trouble, but he can sure as hell get himself out. Pay attention to comments, man. I already, what do you mean? We have went through all these comments, John. I told you to say hi to your son. You ignore him. Uh, hi, Frank. Love you. So, Frank, you next time we're doing yeah, way to go, man. Ignoring your own son. What the hell is wrong with Damn. you? I've been doing it for the last 29 years. <laughs> All right, John. So you got your olive oil and your garlic and your uh, your uh, your noodles are um, pre-cooked. Yeah, you just warm them up. In, What's your next step? Yeah, the noodles I dropped in the hot water. So when they're ready, as soon as my oil and olive and the oil and the garlic is ready, I will add a little bit more butter, some more fat to it. Ryan's loving this. And then Parmesan cheese. Okay, now, so what if your date is partial to marinara and not Alfredo? Well, the Alfredo, John forgot the heavy whipped cream at the house in the refrigerator. So now we're going IO oil. So Okay. We'll have to switch it up. I apologize. So, I don't know what so it, Explain to everyone what, what whatever it is you just said is. It's olive oil and garlic. That's IO oil. IO oil. Yeah. Yeah. So it's olive oil and, gar and garlic. And what I'm going to do is add some fat to it. So I'm going to put some butter in there too. And some Parmesan cheese. Capiche? Capiche. 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 Yeah, the butter now. So how do you know how much butter to put in there? You do it. It just depends on you. I okay. like lots of butter. So you can go half a stick. Yeah. And then off camera, Joey's cutting up the chicken. Joey's cutting the chicken up. If an Italian that's cooking, I can tell you in measurements how they're cooking, they're not a real Italian. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah forget about that. A little the pinch, a little of that. Mm -hmm. I apologize for not having the Alfredo sauce. I will make it up to you peoples. Yeah, he spent all this time getting this whole show together, and now he's just forgetting everything, and now he's just now going he's, on. <laughs> somebody's going to sue him for false advertising, so... Well, I mean, he did forget to mention earlier that he forgot to turn on something before the show. Yeah, I did forget to turn on the mic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Yeah. 
Well, we got some cool topics though tonight. Uh, what were the topics? Uh, are which is funny because I was funny to see two people actually ask what peacocking was, which is kind of amazing to know. And that was, uh, I think, Shannon and Lisa asked what peacocking was. Mm hmm. So, so the topics for tonight. One is the cooking segment, which is what we're on. The other one is peacocking. Is this still a thing with this new generation of men? The other one is what are some of your basic dating rules to live by? And the f other one is, is the 2021 man still the alpha male? So, so I figured I'd fill everyone in kind of like the premise of the show. And then uh, we're going to kind of hit the topics up in here in a bit if you want to while we're watching paint dry here and, you know, kind of go from there. <laughs> so where the comments Brian, can about? you still see that comments. comment that Becky put up there? Put, go to comments. Yeah, yeah, I can. We'll give it a second. It should come back on. Yeah, comments should come back on. Yeah, just don't hit that end broadcast because I really screwed things up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I hit that side of the mouth. Yeah, it should. We should still be good here. Hold on. Yeah, this this computer is more advanced than your phone, there, Mike. So you gotta be careful with buttons. Yeah, I'll see if it's in there. There it goes. Yeah, it just gotta rebuild. It's gotta re-enter. Somebody comment. Becky did. We Morgan lost. did. Oh, there it is. So anybody in the comments that want to ask questions of what's going on here right now, go ahead and ask them, and then Mike can read them and fill them in. Yeah, I'll. Well, I'll put them up as we as we get us. Hi, up. hi Becky. Oh. So, John, did you make those noodles then, or like, did you buy them, or what? What? Come on, man. I'm I'm, I'm going to ask you questions, man. No, I, I didn't make the noodles. No, I did not make them. They're bought. They're bought. Yeah, yeah, they're bought. Unfortunately, again, for those that are just jumping in, I had to change things up. <laughs> I forgot the uh, the cream at the house, so chicken's all ready to go. Chicken is ready to go, and I think the noodles are hot. I don't know how hot this thing has gotten. Woman's rights was a mistake. Who is this? By then, I think it pops up every once in a while by somebody <laughs> on that. I make her cook. <laughs> you make her cook? Well, bring her over here. We don't have any hers here. Uh, we don't have any hers here. Yeah, exactly. I like that. It's chef non-negotiable. <laughs> oh, no, actually, I can't now. Just drink that. Yeah. Okay. Open that thing up. Yeah. So, so the reason why I was asking about the noodles is because... Did is, cut the chicken all up? Who, does Ooh. anybody know who's women's rights? No, it was a mistake. Yeah, it's just somebody on YouTube. They've, oh, okay. they've shown up a couple, couple Brady. I make her cook. That's hilarious. Thank you. Recap. That's your pretty recap. Hell. So you're supposed to recap, John. Your your wife would have loved that, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm thankful she's not here right now. Yeah, right. I was gonna say, first Danielle at Brian. That way you could make her watch she's, so so she can cook new pasta like this. Right? Yeah. She's at a friend's house. She'll probably be back later. Sorry, Who knows? Morgan. We didn't mean to yeah. make you feel like you needed to go cook now. Yeah. Go cook. No. Nobody stop. John, the John, the reason why I was asking about the noodles is because I don't know if like people in chat uh -huh. do make their own noodles or not. Maybe, yeah. maybe they're kind of curious, like people how do, you make. But not a lot. Yeah, Joey's made his own. Yeah, and it's not something you do all the time. Yeah, it's a lot. Of, a lot of Italians will make noodles. For special occasions like Christmas, they'll make raviolis for Christmas, Easter, yeah. stuff like that. But a lot of times, normal don't. everyday. Like even my nana, she doesn't. Yeah. She she buys them and then puts them in containers and yeah. she you know store bought. She it's rare that, and especially now because she's a lot older. But it's rare that she makes her own. Yeah, because it, most of the time it's just the. I mean, if you're if you're good enough with the sauce and everything like that, you don't need to make your own. Yeah, a lot of times it's just usually just for the holidays. I mean, that's when it, most of the Italians make pasta. Oh, well, yeah. Becky says you can learn to cook here, Brian. Brian, are, are, are you a decent cook or no? No. no. That's all right, buddy. No. Me, me neither. Last no. One time I made, I tried to surprise my my girlfriend and make dinner. It was, it turned out, it wasn't bad, but the pasta was a little, 
soggier than I like it. But <laughs> Yeah, See, I mean, like, like I'll, I'll, like, cook stuff for myself, and, like, I'll kind of be creative with, with things, but, like, I don't want to be creative with somebody else, because, like, if they don't like it with me, like, well, it can't be half bad, so I'm still going to eat it, you know, take Yeah, thing, but, exactly. You know, I just don't, that's, that's when me. I get off of work, it's just not, like, I don't want to spend time in the kitchen. That's just not my thing, you know what I mean? It's just, yeah. Well, a long time ago, like, I used to, like, uh, cut up, like, my own potatoes, and I would actually put oil in a pan, and I would actually, like, make my own french fries a long time ago. And then uh, what happened was some of the oil actually got on the burner and started on fire. So uh, I kind of stopped doing that. Yeah. Almost burnt the yeah. House yeah. yeah. Luckily, I realized before like this happened that you don't put water on it, and I didn't do that. So that's pretty awesome. Well, that's good. So, yeah. Make that, <laughs> make that mistake, and it just spreads the fire. And <laughs> right. Well, what did you put in there before the pasta? You put something else in there. Uh, right? Parmesan. Put more butter. You Parmesan could start, cheese. Yeah, just, you could start adding some Parmesan to it. Bob, do you cook? Like uh, Bob, Bob barbecues. Bob barbecues. That's what Bob Bruce barbecues, does too. but um, Bruce barbecues. I can cook, but I prefer to barbecue. Bob's a southern man. It's easier to clean up. Yeah, yeah barbecue is easier to clean up. Although I, I, I can't cook pasta, uh, marinara sauce. Uh, I don't make my own marinara because uh, I'm southern, so we got prego or ragu, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I was just watching Johnny's putting the noodles in there and like they're just falling off. He's just throwing them back in like nothing ever yeah, happened. Right? <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. I, I, I trust that Joe keeps his uh, Dude, stove top clean. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Seriously. It's a brand new oven. It's a yeah, brand new oven. Brand new oven. Yeah, it is brand new. Look at that. It's not even a month old. And I dirty it. Now I got to clean his oven. And clean. Like, yeah, now it's dirty though. I use that thing every day. Now that I work from home, I cook almost every day. Everybody say hi to my cousin Joe. Hi, cousin Joe. Hey, Joey. Joey. <laughs> How you doing, Bob? Good, Joe. Bob and Joe go way back. We go way back. There's way, Joe. Way back. How way long back. How each other? 20 years, I think. Since, since, uh, since Joe lived over at... Um, Timberlake or what were those condos by O'Brien's? Yeah, Timberlake. 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 You lived in Timberlake? Yeah. Did you bought the house? Before I bought the house. Yeah? Yeah, before you bought the house. See, my, my daughter lived in Timberlake for a while. She was a part of the movie. See, Joey could have dated your daughter. <laughs> that was probably... It's about the right time. God, yeah. When was that? She had to be single. Uh, no, no, uh, Joey had the house, and that, that was about, that was like late 90s. All right, Joe, I think this is good to go. Put a little more cheese on there. Put some more cheese. You can never have enough cheese. Never enough cheese. Chicken pretty soon, yeah. huh? So, John, out of curiosity, could you, like, sub out different types of cheeses while you're doing this? Like, other kinds? Or does it have to be, like, a certain kind? Like, does it have to be, like, Parmesan? Could you use, like, anything else if you want to do? I mean, you could, but Parmesan's the best for yeah. pasta. Yeah, That's Parmesan. But he dumps on top of their spaghetti and everything else like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, Bob, Joe, Brian, I, I got rid of one of them that fell. I threw it in the garbage. Mm -hmm. You happy? Where's the chicken? Don't forget the chicken. No, but you dropped like 20 of them and you just threw the one away. goes on the top of the pasta. Hey, Becky wants to know if you really stir with tongs. Did I what? What? Do you really stir with tongs? With tongs. She's yes. giving you crap for stirring yeah. it with tongs. Yeah. Yeah, I can show you a trick I know with the thong, tongs. <laughs> What's the trick you know? As long as he doesn't put an H in there, we're okay. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, because always it's going to go to thongs, and we don't want to say that trick. So. so out of curiosity, before you started using tongs, did you click them to make sure they worked? Brian, I am going to fly to North Dakota. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what we're supposed to do, right? Go click, click. All right. Yeah, they work, right? That's what you're supposed to do. I made it super cheesy. It's the best I could do. I wish I would have made the Alfredo sauce. I apologize. I screwed up. Yeah. 
Chris. No, you didn't mess up, did you? I forgot that. I can't believe I did that. Okay, everyone, my question is... Ready to go, and then I still forgot. My question is, where's the... uh, Where's the garlic bread, or is is that just an oaky thing? That is an oaky thing, Bob. We made okay. prosciutto. We made prosciutto. Oh, that's right. Italians don't eat bread with everything. It's a myth. And then you want to come back that's and sprinkle true. a little Parmesan and cheese on top of it. See, see, Kaylin, Kaylin agrees with me when I said you got to click them before you use them. She agrees. Yeah. What? I'm Short hoping answer, that's yeah. what you're answering to. It's finger food, no forks. <laughs> you guys want a spoon too? They don't eat. They're American. Yeah, they're going to slurp it up anyway. Yeah. Yeah. And that a guy. I bet you Mike will not eat in camera. <laughs> no, he left his food there. That one, that one will go too. That's funny. Joe, you get the. Or, uh, Go on, Johnny, you got the Parmesan sewer? Yep. Sprinkle a little bit on top. So for those who are kind of like just tuning in or haven't tuned in before, usually John, Bruce, and Mike are at their own places and they have their own like square yeah, like we, I do. We don't live together, yeah. Right. So this is usually it's kind of like outside the norm. That's why John's not prepared. So Yeah, that's why I didn't have <laughs> I had to bring everything here. <laughs> How is it, Bruce? Well, tell him the truth. You outdid yourself. John. I outdid. See, I outdid myself. Let's go back on the screen. Whoa, whoa, that's scary. There we are. That was too scary. I looked up. Yeah, we got really big there for a second. It, it kind of freaked me out. Looking, it was almost like I was looking at myself again. Stove still off. Thank you, Frank. <laughs> Frank, you shouldn't have helped these guys out. See, see, that's my son. He, he's he's looking out for his pops. So, so you so you treat him like crap, and he still helps you out. What the heck? All right. So, Frankie, pesto bagels. Pesto bagels, Frankie, next week. So, guys, yeah, simple dish. I mean, everybody should know how to make pasta. I mean, it's not that hard. Worldwide to See that now called three men in the kitchen or the all the golden boys. Yeah, we are the golden boys. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Pretty simple dish, really easy. We can jump into the topics while we're eating. Now, uh, again, I'm surprised that two people actually didn't know what peacocking was. Bob, do you find that hard to believe? No. No. It can't be. I mean, that's been going on forever. Well, you know, I mean, I mean, times have changed, John. Come on. I got to get a glass of wine. Bruce, you want a glass of wine? Well, I'm, pre- I'm pretty sure it Bro. still exists. It's just not as prevalent as it used to be. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that's that's the way I look at it. I mean. I may call it, I mean, may call it, not call it peacock. You know, so. Right. No. And that, that could be it, too. So, so John, what's the rule? If you if you go pasta with marinara, you have to go red wine and, or and then pasta um, al dente yeah. with olive oil. You go white wine. Wait, there's there's rules to this now. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. When did the rules start? <laughs> yeah. If you're if you're eating chicken and pasta and a white wine sauce or olive oil, you want to eat that with the, with the, with the white wine and, and white wine. red sauces are going to be. Let me taste my work. Hold on. I marry me. Yeah. It's good. Salute. Thank you, Frank, for saving Joey's house from burning down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good thing it's an electric, not a gas oven. Yeah. Otherwise, we would have blown. The definition. <laughs> hey, by the way, uh, Joey's got some pretty serious backsplash going on behind the uh, behind the oven. I, I kind of like that. Yeah. He just had all that done. Yeah, I was gonna say I didn't notice that before. So yeah. wow, big, back, big kitchen remodel. Joey re- remodeled his whole kitchen, man. Nice. So I'm working from home permanently. Yeah. 
Anybody want to give Becky the definition of peacocking? Well, Google. I thought you were going to do that. I mean, come on, Bert, Bert, Ryan, you're a tech guy. I actually have the definition up here, so I'm just going to read it. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to read it from the. Ur I'm actually going to read it from the Urban Dictionary part here. Yeah, kind of makes a little bit more sense for people here. Peacocking is the action or actions exhibited in the beginning stages of courting. These actions are typically only temporary and exist during the chase. Does that make sense? Makes sense to me. Isn't that just somebody being flashy and flamboyant? Well, maybe not flamboyant, but flashy. You know, the flashy shirt. Like, like they're squirting their stuff. Yeah. Bob, have you peacocked? Huh? Have you peacocked, Bob? No. <laughs> no. You're kind of out, out ripping yourself, you know. Come on, back yeah, in the I days, know. in the seventies. Come on, Bob. You never got off the bar stool and sucked it in. Oh well, Not you know, early, I, on my early days, Bruce, when I was sitting at yeah. a bar stool in my twenties, I didn't yeah. have to suck it in because I was, you know, I was pretty, <laughs> I was in pretty good shape back then. You didn't wear a specific shirt. I thought that's uh, okay. it, it all depends on uh, every every shirt had a pair of pants to go with it. So I mean, did you, know, you have what pair of pants that I, I wore? What shirt? Well, I was gonna wear with it. Yeah, I mean, you if you had a particular outfit, you would wear out. Absolutely. Yeah. All all right. depending on the mood. I mean, I I had my jeans with the cowboy boots. To, to, then I had my slacks with my gray Capizio shoes. And, you know, if I went with the white pants, then I, I went with a Hawaiian shirt and T-shirt and uh, tennis shoes. You didn't wear white after Labor Day, did you? Uh, <laughs> no, no, because because you're not allowed to do that. Bro. Come on. Nobody follows that rule. Is that a rule? It is a rule. It is a rule, Bob. All right, well, I'm gonna have to dig into it because I I've heard it before, but I never thought it really mean and meant anything. I thought it was just a Hollywood saying. You don't wear white. No, 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 no. The the rule um, uh, originates back on the East Coast from the um, the upper class because you basically wore white from Memorial Day to Labor Day because you were on vacation going out to the Cape and things like that. But once once Labor Day was over, you went back to darker colors. So, so Bob, I'll kind of put this in perspective for you. Um, well, not for you, for like everyone watching too. The you can't wear white after Labor Day rule was created to separate the old money elitists from the new money group. For those who had money and could leave the city during warmer months, white was considered vacation attire. Mm -hmm. wow. And that's, that's, that's why you don't wear white after Labor Day. Does that make sense? Right. Mm -hmm. so you go to the East Coast, you know, like Jersey and stuff, the beach towns, and they're they're basically still playing uh, croquet on the lawns in the in the right. croquet white. Exactly. And white. Yeah, the old money, yes. Yeah. Becky, do the guys have peacock there in North Carolina? <laughs> that's, good. that's a good question, actually. Who knows? I mean. Well, Maybe I would assume yes, but I mean, it's a I'm fair just assumption. trying to picture what we had to do to be considered peacocking to what they have to do today with the skinny jean. Yeah, see, Becky says, yeah, they do. We need examples. Brian, can you find any Google pictures of someone who tries to peacock? Number one, all right, number one. I don't want that opinion. on my search history. Number one, okay, any dude wearing skinny jeans. <laughs> to just turn over his man card right now, okay? You are no longer a man. What? Here, here's a question, Bob. Bob, here's here's a question. What's worse, somebody wearing skinny jeans or somebody wearing skinny jeans and they still are sagging down their butt? Oh, the sagging down their butt? <laughs> man? How can they no, do that? I'm sorry. Okay, but the Isn't worst skinny jeans... The worst skinny jean look is the skinny jeans with a man bun. With a man bun. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I could fit in skinny jeans. And you'll never see me in a man bun, so we're we're good to go. 
Well, I don't. I think it's going to take a lot of help to get you in a man bun bomb. <laughs> You're going to have to have some growth back again. Well, you know, I can grow back here and just flip it up on top. Yeah. So, so, so Caitlin's got a question. She said, "Is that still considered a comb over?" In the back. Go ahead, go ahead, Brian. So, uh, 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 Caitlin, um, uh, Caitlin's got a question. She said, "Her husband suited up and took her took her dancing for the first year of dating. Would that be considered peacocking?" Yes. Yes. No. Suiting up. If he suited up, that's not is that's not peak. Well. No, because like peacocking, from what I understand, is like flashy colors, flashy shirt. Uh, you Doing know, something, something that, you don't normally do only to impress someone is the yeah, way I look at it. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, yeah. But a suit, a suit, that's not. Well, if the guy lives in jeans and cowboy boots and he puts the suit on. So. A suit. Yeah, my suit. A suit, I don't I know. Mean, a suit, I wouldn't consider peacocking because right, that's a suit. Right, but I mean, let's let's say like, you know, he doesn't normally, you know, say dance or do that sort of thing, and he did it to impress her. You know, right. I would consider that peacocking. Yes, uh, if he, I mean, a suit is to me is more of, I wouldn't consider it flashy. Maybe he was trying to dress for the park per se versus. What's the peacock? dressing itself. Where you, the guy gets all flat, you know, to flash. Like, you know how a peacock, when it's trying to attract the female, brings out its, mm -hmm. the male brings out its, it's like all its colors. Oh, you mean like when a guy's trying to be, just so flashy. when you're trying to be flashy to try, try yeah. impress the girl. Trying to make that impression. Oh. I mean, I think but, everybody does that to an extent, but you're saying when he takes it too far, that's when yeah. it becomes peacocking? Yeah. Right. So, so, so here's a question. Like, you know, know, we all, I'm, we all I'm corny like that. So yeah, well, we all change as we grow up and our habits do change. So maybe it's something that somebody's into before that they're actually were into and then they're not into it anymore. Would that still be, be considered peacocking? The man jewelry get the man jewelry? Man jewelry. So yeah, let's talk about that. How do we, how, how, how do we all feel about guys with, I mean, how far can it go? Like rings, watches, bracelets, necklace, what? Yeah, well, I don't know, man, because, you know, if you watch TV, especially if you watch a lot of the uh, Italian movies, you know, you got those guys with their, uh, <laughs> you know, Rocky Balboa starter set. You got the two gold chains, you got the big ring, you know? You know, you go, hey, Rocky yo. Never wore a chain, I don't know. Oh, yeah, he did. He had a chain. Yeah, he did. He had, yeah. But that was his chain from him, Mick. So that, that didn't count. That was like his dad. Yeah, you well, know, like, I, the, like like the nineties, early two thousands, you had everyone had wearing gold chains. The more gold chains you had, the more rich you were. Well, well yeah, well that was the Mr. Team the story. Guys that yeah. leather wristbands, you know. Mm -hmm. the beads, I have watches that I have a I have a, a, a tungsten ring I never wear, and I have a watch that I watch really well, two yeah, nice watch that I rings. never wear. Yeah, a lot of guys don't wear rings anymore. I have no jewelry. Unless you're married, then you got to wear the ring. But other than that. Yeah, other I mean, than that. you, you kind of have to go to the East Coast to see actually a guy wearing a pinky ring. I don't. I haven't seen anybody out here wearing a pinky ring. That's weird to me. But oh, pink, it's it's common back there. I mean, put it this way: well, if you, you live back east I in think, New York, you'd have a pinky. You know, John. Ring. I, I think if you would go to to more of those Sons of Italy meetings, I I think the old school guys still oh. wear pinky rings around town, right? Oh, yeah. Your Sabatinos, your Similes. Yeah, yeah. Guys. yeah, I think Carmen did wear a pinky ring. <laughs> that's, yeah, I see? feel like that's different though, because they they grew up with that. Yeah, right. I mean, I don't wear any. I, I wear my watch and, that, and my chain. That's about it. But yeah, it's not like it was. Yeah, I don't even wear a watch. I, right. I just don't think I could pull it off. Like, there's been chains that I've liked, like, but or like bracelets that I've liked, but I just don't think I look like the type of guy to that's, wear that. So I don't think I could yeah. pull it off. So I was always wanted to get I think it would look corny. That's a perfect I one. I think the one. bracelets are back, though. I think you'd get away with the bracelet today. Yeah. You can get the leather ones with the. I would wear a watch, oh, but yeah. not one of those oh, smart man. watches. It's got to be, you know, like the Seiko quartz and stuff like that. Yeah, you know? that's what. Yeah, I have like a nice Nixon that's like, yeah. you know, it's a watch that I wear when I go to weddings or anything mm -hmm. like that, an event when I get dressed up. I don't just wear it. If I'm not dressed up, I'm not wearing it. Exactly. So, yeah. I I, well, I 
I have a, I mean, I grew up wearing bracelets and it's kind of, it was kind of weird when we moved here because that's when we stopped wearing them because we didn't, you know, back East we wore a bracelet. I had the, you know, you got a bracelet for confirmation and it had your name on it. You know, I wore that until we moved here and then I never wore it anymore. But so Becky, do the guys wear uh, jewelry in uh, North I think they Carolina? Do. Yeah, Here's a question too. <laughs> Do you consider piercing as jewelry? Jewelry. Yes. Yeah. 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 It's a personal thing too for you. Yeah, right. Mor Perfect. So Morgan, how do you feel about guys that wear jewelry? Yeah. How do any of you girls love Becky, Morgan? How do you guys feel about it? The only time they get each other is when we get close. She gets closer to the. Yeah, I just feel like I don't know. I just feel like I can't pull anything. I mean, like yeah, a watch. Yeah, that's yeah, fine. But watch, like right? a necklace or a bracelet, because. There's some nice ones that I like that, I mean, I've thought of, I mean, yeah. but. Well, well, Bruce, Bruce and Bob, you guys grew up in that generation with the necklaces, you know, the cross. And well, we wore puka shells when I was. Yeah, you wore yeah. 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 We had the puka shells. I mean. I had the puka shells. The puka shells came back with their generation. Puka shells. We, like you're so bad, right? Everybody. And I have traded my puka shells in on a gold chain. So that was it, though. I was back when we wore the polyester shirts. Oh, dude! This I oh man, I had a, I had an awesome this show. Always, always unbuttoned the hair with the puka shell. Yeah, see, mm -hmm. but our generation, our puka shells were more tighter. They didn't like droop. Yeah, really you guys are almost like a choker. Almost like a choker, like almost yeah. just a little bit less than a choker. That's what our generation mm -hmm. was. Yeah, but and then we quickly grew out of that. I, yeah. I, when I look back and see stuff of pictures of guys in puka shells, like our friends, I'm like, man, that's. Well, it just looks so hey, funny. That's, that's the thing. I we mean, thought we were so cool. You're gonna, you're gonna have later in your life, like me and Bruce and Bob. When we look at pictures of ourselves when we were younger. We're just kind of like, fuck, did we really wear that? It's just like things change. So well, I remember yeah. what I wore when I was courting the wife. Yeah, and as soon as we got married. My whole fashion sense changed. When she, she, when she on, got on this show, Becky, yeah. you can say redneckish or whatever you want. Yeah, you can say redneck. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. So I was amazed I actually was able to dress myself for my first 20 yeah. years of life. I was going to say what? That was, the, that was the plus of being married. Yeah. You didn't no longer had to buy your own underwear anymore. As long no. as they don't. You didn't have to buy shirts. You didn't have to dress yourself. You didn't have to dress yourself. Yeah. It was just there. Was oh go. yeah, I love. I don't get why guys. Why do guys hate on that so much? Like I mean, when I, I used to. I would come out out of the bedroom and you're gonna wear that. Uh huh. <laughs> like I I wouldn't even like my girlfriend lived with me. I'd be like, and we'd be going somewhere. I'd throw a couple things on the bed and be like, all right, pick, 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 pick. <laughs> Like I'll pick out a couple and then you pick out the one you want because she'll be like, oh, that shirt's nice, but I like the other one better. I'm like, all right, let me unbutton this shirt and take it off. Now. Yeah, but we're easy. We don't really care. I don't give a shit. Yeah. My girlfriend hated that about yeah. me. She's I, like, you can't wear gray with gray. I'm like, the fuck, I can't. <laughs> Watch me. I, I ran into Maybe that you want to watch me? <laughs> well, I'll be honest. I ran into that only one time. And I was at the Fat Cat at a comedy show. And somebody you know, geeked your outfit. Yeah, he he just tore me apart because the way I was dressed. Oh, the comedy, the comedian. Did. Yeah, oh, and oh, I was sitting that. up front, yeah. and you know, back then Katrina did kind of pick my shit out, you know. So <laughs> the guy just ripped me for like a half an hour, dude. I I just so pissed. I go, that's it. I'm buying my fucking own clothes, man. <laughs> yeah, that, that was the only time I got ripped because the guy goes, dude, you look like you just stepped out of Mervin's. I was like, "What?" <laughs> I, you know, I, that's great. He just he went in from he 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 eyeballed me from the beginning though. Like when when he first came out, he set eyes on me, and I think he was already working the jokes. Oh, for sure, in the back of his mind, for sure he was. He's like, "I'm going to get to this guy, and I'm going to rip him a new asshole." And I got up there, and I was just he, he made you, me get up on stage. You never sit front row at a comedy show. Yeah, no, no. My my sister is even more like reserved than I am, but she wanted to go see Theo Vaughn in concert or in on a show. So we went. I went with her because she knew I'd go. I, you guys know who Theo Vaughn is, right? The redneck comedian, the guy, the kid that's got the mullet. No. no. Oh yeah, you guys got to watch him. He's super funny. He's. Straight up hillbilly redneck 
guy, he, like his hair is straight up cut in a mullet. His dad was like something crazy, like 65 when he had him or something like that. Like, so it's just, and he's super funny, but uh, she bought his tickets and it was like the front row sec like she didn't know it was front row because they didn't list the seats. <laughs> and we, we ended up being on the front row. And I was like, dude, nice. are you kidding me? Me and you on the front row, like we're not the type to draw attention yeah. to ourselves. We don't like that. Becky, don't make his head blow up, what please. Mike, Jesus Christ. <laughs> anything, but some men need assistance. Yeah. No, Becky, I've thought about it because, like, I'm single and, you know, I have a good job, so I make decent money. So I've thought about buying me some nice jewelry, but I just I just don't think I'm the type of guy to wear, like, a gold chain or a gold necklace or, or gold bracelet or something. I just don't think it works. Yeah, no, I, I had to be – that was that was the first time I realized that I had to kind of start buying my own clothes. I was just like, okay, because, I, I, I got, you know, you're married, you get into that habit. It's so much easier. It's just something you don't have to deal with anymore. You don't have to buy yourself underwear. You don't have to buy yourself T-shirts. You don't have to buy yourself jeans. It's just you, you came home and the shit was in your drawer, you know. You didn't get to pick – I didn't well, pick anything out other than you my care. shoes. Why do my you shoe, care? Like, my shoes. She, I, I bought the woman my own you're shoes. with is picking her clothes out. Yeah, I well, Trina thought I was still in the eighties. That's how I <laughs> saw I was when my, when my girlfriend lived with me. I was like, "You're the one that I want to look good for." So, if you like it, I can give two shits what any other girl thinks. But that's just me. Yeah, we got to. Yeah, um, I would never go rapper look. <laughs> oh God, no, I could go. Oh, uh, I could What's pull. the name of that movie? Um, Malibu's most wanted. <laughs> I love B Rat. I love Malibu's most wanted. Oh, B Rat. Hey, they the could man. not make that show today. That movie yeah, could no, not be made. Um, B Rat was phenomenal, man. Yeah, it was. B Rat. Uh, all right, let's let's jump into that. Uh, well, that Becky, Becky had a question. Oh, did she? God, where is it? Yeah, she oh, asked I, me if I changed my piercings. Uh, I do sometimes. Normally, they're all like the stainless steel. I do have a little box I have right here at home, and my wife calls it my tackle box, and that's got all like my other like piercing accessories and all that stuff in there. But sometimes I do. Most of the time, I usually don't, because um, pretty much stainless steel pretty much goes with everything. So yeah, it's it's uh that's kind of the way it is. If I need, if I somehow lose one or whatever, like when the when the balls up here, I got a place to go for them and and put a new one on. So, yeah, most people who have piercings do actually have a thing called tackle box. Yeah. Uh, when I when I, I used to serve tables, uh, somebody told me when I was serving, they go, uh, they asked me because I had my ears out and they kind of asked me what happened to my eye and I'm like, what are you talking about? Because I I don't see it. Dude, I don't all. know how you did that you with know? your eye, dude. I'm sorry, and, uh, I don't anybody near my eye like that. Like, I did that. My eyebrow. Like that. I only had it in for one day though, because my mom was like, "Your father's gonna kill you." Yeah. Bob <laughs> but, needs uh, a nipple piercing. Bob needs a nipple piercing. Maybe that'll be our next episode. Dude, Bob right? goes out to get a nipple dude. piercing. <laughs> it's crazy. Well, no, I, I was, no yeah. the girls get the pussy piercing. Hey, Joe, what do you think? When girls pierce their clit, I'm man? like, "You're you're wild." Like. There's no way. Like, and we knew a couple of dudes that got the dick piercings, and I was like, "You, you don't even deserve to have a dick." Yeah. Like, if you're gonna let somebody near it with a needle, yeah. Joey thinks she should get that. it, Bob. Nope. Well, nope. well the thing is, like, I like a, when it, uh, I will get a, a nipple piercing the the same night Joe Retorto gets a nipple piercing. Uh, okay. He'll do it. You do it. He said, Joe. You got to do it, Joe. <laughs> you well, go first, like, like, <laughs> what? Well, well, well. He when I when I serve, when when I when I used to serve tables and stuff, uh, one of the customers, I it was a regular. Well, it wasn't. Well, the person currently actually was a regular there, but it was like the first time, like my first time seeing this regular customer, and so he asked me what happened to I, and I'm like, oh, I don't know what you're talking about because I didn't think anything of it, and. He pointed at at my eye, and I'm like, "Oh, it's just a fishing accident." He's like, "Oh, they, yeah, that explains a lot." And I just walked away. 
without see, any that's questions. The first thing I think when I see that in your <laughs> eye, dude, it's like you had a fishing. It's like you still got a hook in there, dude. Like, right? <laughs> you went fishing with your dad. He hooked you, and you just yeah. left there for sentimental reasons, dude. Right. Right. I mean, wouldn't you though? It would. It would. I mean, you you have something there now. Kind of remind. It's got. It's it's more uh, sentimental now. But right? you have no tattoos, right, Brian? No. Bob, you have none, right? No tattoos. No tattoos. I don't have any either. I have pier no I have tattoos, no piercings. You never pierced your ear, Bob. No. Oh, sure. Never. Oh, wow. Not even the one hole thing. Nope. Oh, wow. Yeah, see, I see. My I got father, both my ears. <laughs> Bruce, Bruce is flexing his uh, his barbed wire tattoo. He's flexing his barbed wire. Yeah. You could go. You my can father was there. a twenty-four year a military veteran. If I'd have came home with a pierced ear, uh, I'd have been killed. Yeah. Oh, I know. That's what my mom said. She looked at me and she goes, "You're you're crazy. You better get rid of that piercing before your dad gets home." Yeah. And I was eighteen, but. He still scared the shit out of me. Yeah. So I was like, no, Oh, yeah, no. absolutely. I live in your house. I'm getting rid of it. Yeah. You, you, exactly, wouldn't a, right? you wouldn't get a tattoo like today, Bob, for like, you know, for your dad or something. Military kind yeah. of tattoo. Never thought about that. Nope. Kind of a way to remember it. Get a Dodgers tattoo. No. A Dodgers. Fuck them Dodgers. <laughs> oh. That was a good game yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, right, we're, uh, right now it's one one in the third inning. At least it's being competitive, not compared to the last meeting. Absolutely. Yeah. Let's let's jump into let's jump into the next topic there. What are some of your basic dating rules you live by? Mike, go. You're first, because you are the dating type. Basic dating rules to live by? Yeah, that you live by. That you live by these are the, oh, the this doesn't happen that yeah. i live by yeah um i won't i would i will not <laughs> no, marry <laughs> no it's not serious it's not, bad. It's not no bad. no you're going the liberal route no i'm not i won't marry um i won't get engaged unless i uh i live with the girl first code of arms bob i i can agree yeah. with that one mike now what? What would you just say? I will not. I will not get engaged to a girl I, I do not live with. I won't marry a girl. Oh, unless I live so you're with gonna her live first. with her first? Yes, hundred percent. That's because you it is. you well well you really don't know what you get what you're really getting yourself into until you actually live with them, because their like daily habits or like the way they clean or the way they live could be completely different than yours, and and that could be actually a form of peacocking where they you go to their house and it's always clean, but that's not actually how they live. Right. No, so, that's you know what true. I, mean? like, I think the biggest thing people miss out on, though, is like when you get in a fight or something with the, with somebody you're with, you can go home, you can go to your own thing. The different, the biggest difference is, is when you get off work, you got to go home to that person. If you get in a fight, mm -hmm. you got to get in the bed next to that person and go to sleep, and you got to wake up to that person. You don't get space. No space. You so, go to the garage, smoke a cigarette. You know what I mean? Yeah, and that's <laughs> it. And, but then you got to go. You know what I mean? And that's the thing that I've. You know, that was the biggest thing that I noticed when I lived with my ex. And it was like, when we got in a fight, it was like, look, you got to, you know, we're still in the same house. Like we got to, you know, we're going to bed together. So, you know, it's just, that's a huge thing for me. For well, sure. I, mean, I, think I mean, the engagement should be close to a year long. Yeah. Like, well, so are, like with, with me and my wife, like, you know, we've had arguments and, and sometimes like, I'm just like, I'm just going to just crash on the couch for the night. Just get my own personal space, just relax and yeah, just kind of wind down, you know, and just sleep on the couch for the night. And then like, kind of try to talk about the next day. You know what I mean? Like that's, that's what I've done. Cause, uh, we, you know, I, you, well, you, you guys know my wife a bit, you know, she's, yeah, she's she gonna me a little feisty. Someday, right. Day. And, but, but the thing is though, like our mindsets are, are kind of different when we argue. Cause I'm like, okay, let's just take a step back. And, and mm -hmm. sometimes like, other people are more like, I just want to tackle the issue now and just get it over with. Yeah. So those two sides of, the, of that don't really mesh very well. You well, know, that's the like way I, everybody is there. It's like the fight or flight. Right. It's the same thing with the same way with arguments. There's the people that want to go into it, head the, to talk about the problem right now. Let's get it done. And there's the people that need space. It's one or the other. 
And, you know, it's just one of those things. And you have to learn to work together because usually, you, you know, most people aren't the same because, I mean, imagine if you had two people that just wanted to start screaming and yelling. Yeah, and I'm like when you start screaming and yelling, that's when you start saying things you don't want to say. And like that's the way I am. Like right, I do not right. want to say things like I don't don't mean. No, I don't want to apologize for things back. like that yeah. I said that I didn't mean and shouldn't have, no, shouldn't have been no. said. That's me. You know, I'm like, okay, let's no, calm down. Yeah. Let's think about it and let's I pick it up later. It wasn't me saying it. it was in, in my past around. relationships, if we got to the point where we were yelling and screaming at each other then I was going to say things to, to like hurt her feelings. And I knew I, I was going to, but it got to that level. And I just don't like getting to that level. I mean, a lot of people would like yell at me and say, don't you get mad at things? I get mad at a lot of things. Okay. But if we can't talk it out calmly, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to fight with you just to fight with you oh, because yeah. I, I fight to win. <laughs> I will say so things much. that are going to crush you, but I don't want to get to that level. Well, of course you have. You've been married for thirty-six years, Nick. You're you're one of the lucky right. ones. Yeah, but that but that applies to you yeah. before you got married. Yeah. I mean, you know what I mean. It's just yeah. it's just one of those things. People, you know, you you don't you. It's a big difference when you're living with somebody. Yeah, you can't Nick, go Nick, home. You I, don't get to I, go somewhere else. I like my arrangement now because I always win them argument. You, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you don't like it? Take your overnight bag and get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, John, if you don't like it, you can just put the lucky charms away and walk out. That way you That's don't right. have to be the little kid's dad. But, but for me, I would ask her to make me a sandwich before she left. <laughs> Bruce, what are your dating rules? Me? Yeah, you oh. got to have some rules. Well, he doesn't want to date. Yeah, well, yeah, that's yeah, but he kind of is in a way. I mean, there's something that I would, I would attracts call, I would casual. Call it casual. I would, I, would, I, would, I wouldn't call it dating. Very no, casual. I wouldn't say dating, yeah. but there's something that that attracts you to that person that's on Twitter. Man, it's I feel not like just we're picture. missing the girls tonight. There's no none, 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 none of the girls have come on. <laughs> just well, so it's it's here and Morgan's here. Yeah. No, I'm saying yeah. like yeah. on the actual. Oh yeah, Amanda on the show. and uh, Jennifer. Jennifer uh, has her. Uh, she was 12 when we met, 17 started dating. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. We've been well, together a long, long Damn, Nick. Oh, yeah, that's, count, that's Nick. good love right there, Nick. Yeah, it's, that's a soulmate. That's not, yeah. That is, <laughs> man. Nick, you got lucky, brother. Yeah, that's a soulmate. She hasn't killed you yet, Nick? What the hell? <laughs> uh, let's see here. What? No, you don't suck at this show, Nick. What? Nick, you should come on and give everybody that's watching this show advice. <laughs> so he right. should be t- <laughs> Yeah. Be we got four single guys on this show, show Nick. Nick. We need to know how we need to know. We need to know what you did right for 35 years. Actually, never mind. Right. I know. His girlfriend was 17. Yeah. I'm Morgan mean, Morgan's not chop liver. I was going to say... Well, I was married for 33 years. No, Morgan, not at all. They just didn't understand what I meant. I meant, like, actually, the girl, you know, when some of you guys come on the actual show. Yeah. Get the big on the camera. Because all I hear is a bunch of dude voices. I, I, yeah. I, I like to hear a woman's voice every now and then. Morgan, if you want to come on, let me know. Yeah, Nick. Morgan, you're more Nick, than welcome Nick, to come on. Uh, Nick, uh, Brian will send you the link. <laughs> Morgan, Becky, any of you guys. Becky, you need to come on. Becky hides. Is... She never comes on. Yeah, she never Becky. comes on. Hey, but Becky's faithful, though. She yeah. She's always here. She, she must have took a nap because she's still up. You still up? Nap, napping? <laughs> Did Becky get her Friday afternoon nap? So, okay, maybe you don't have any rules, Bruce, but is there something that's just like, like, if you were to meet her Morgan's and then all of a sudden she said something or did something or looked a certain way, is that just is that date end? Oh, Have you yeah, ever been Morgan's in that situation crazy. where just something came oh, yeah, up? I, I've dropped people home off. <laughs> like right away? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Quick quick dinner? No. no. Oh, at least you gave her dinner. Yeah, you gave her dinner. That's, that. that's different. When the conversation kind of gets... There oh, she I, is. Hey. Hey, girl, boy. Hey, I don't, know why know why I don't know why this camera is still on. Hold on, let me let me. 
Is that the, is that the stove top? Yeah, it's shut off. It's still on. It's, All right, it's no, the background. It's just never mind. It's, okay, the it's wine's fine. kicking in. So. <laughs> it's really not on the screen. So dating roles, Morgan. What are your dating roles? Well, you're you're been with with your boyfriend how long now? It'll be three years in October. Yeah. Okay. So before that, obviously, like, or when you were dating him, like, what are some of the, you know, the, have you ever had any like little things that you just know, like, okay, I'm not going to do this, or I can't deal with that, or? My big thing, and kind of learning from past relationships, is if we go out to a restaurant and, you know, like the guy isn't very nice to wait staff, that's when I'm like. Red flag. Yeah, like, nope, this isn't going to work, you know. Because, you know, because, like, I currently work in a restaurant and stuff like that, and I've just worked in kind of different, you know, service shops before, and it's like, if you can't muster up, the, you know, the, just the basic, you know, pleasantries, you know, please, yeah. thank you, like, if you can't even do that, then it's like, no, yeah. no thanks. Yeah. It works both ways, though, because I've been with, with someone that treated the staff like shit at the restaurant. Yeah. Oh, I was out with the the guy, the gal was just flirting with her. Oh, if he's flirt, if she's yeah, flirting with him, dude, that's it's like what? Yeah. Yeah. At that point, yeah. I just know I'm taking you home to so, get some. And so what? I, I had met her there, so then, see them, see that, see those reflexes. Then, then she wanted to go around the corner to the uh, to the beer the beer garden, right? And lo and behold, guess who shows up the beer garden? The server. That was quick, Mike. I, I'm, and, and then she buys the guy. Quickly. Then you guys buy a drink. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Oh, no. so my, so me and my chiropractor, he's like a two years older than me. Super cool ass dude. Every time I go in there, we talk politics and hell of shit, right? So he was telling me about he's married, beautiful wife, everything. So he was in Vegas for like some convention or something. He was out at the bar and um, he ran into these. Uh, a bachelorette party and so he was like he went up to congratulate the girl he just wanted to you know he's just trying to be nice he's just an outgoing guy he's like hey just want to say i'm married you know i congratulations like marriage is great having kids is great all this stuff and her friend was like kind of looking at him like oh what are you trying to come talk can't. to the bride uh. right and he was just trying to be nice just saying hey congratulations like you know it's you know marriage is a great thing and so he was like i'm gonna buy you a drink but, and so he went back to, and so the girl, the friend that was like kind of giving him a dirty look went back and with him to like, so he was like, will you come with me to the bar to get a drink? And she was like, no. And he was like, I want you to come so that you can see, I don't put anything in her drink. So then he was, she was like, oh, okay. So then when they got to the bar, she was like, are you going to buy me a drink? And he was like, no, why would I do that? I'm buying your friend a drink because she's getting and she was like what and yeah. he was like i don't need to i don't need to pay for your attention yeah and then like 20 minutes later it, she came back to him and was like hey let's go up to your room that same girl and then he did it again he told her no he's like no i'm married like i'm good hey sarah i don't see sarah hasn't been on in a minute huh yeah hey, sarah you need to come up with us sarah we need to hear your topic your your dating uh yeah rules rules we need to hear your red flags too, Sarah. jump on we all know you sarah but anyways and then another girl walked up to him at the bar and he said the same thing to her she sat down and started talking and she he was she was like you're gonna buy me a drink and he was like he said the same thing he's like no he's like i don't i don't i'm not really i don't really like to pay for people's attention and then like five minutes you know still sitting there talking to her she was like let's go to your room yeah i was like all right i know my line Nick, Nick, I've never been the one to buy girls drinks anyway, so I'm like, yeah. now I just say that, and mm -hmm. man, apparently that's like the golden line. Just, that's hard, Nick. You just gotta blow them up, Mike. Treat and her that, like it's that the first date. Day every yeah, that's hard. After, oh, I mean, no, that yeah, exactly. I, that can't be easy, even after 35. Nobody years. Nobody does that, but the one thing I have learned that's cool is uh, that I've always noticed my girlfriend's love was is randomly I would just text them or call them. And just be yeah. like, hey, I wanted to know if you'd go out on a date with me. And like in the middle of, you know what I mean? We could be dating for six months, a year, whatever. I would just randomly call one day and just be like, hey, I want you to go out on a date with me and ask them if, you know, actually ask them if they would and then take them out. You know, just like, you know, because I don't know. I'm, 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 when I'm with somebody, I have those 
those little cheesy things I like to do to make them yeah. feel good and stuff like that. So that was one well, of the things I always do. Well, no, I like Nick. I like Nick's uh, advice. You know, every time, you know, just just act like the first date. I had a buddy of mine about a year ago. We were out drinking beers, and I asked him how his wife was and kids, and he goes, you know, you know, things aren't that great at home. You know, this and that. She's busy. I'm busy. I said, dude, look, just try this, okay? Every morning when you go to work, you kiss her like it's going to be the last time you're ever going to see her. And he called me a couple months after that. He said, man, that's the greatest advice you ever gave me. Yeah. Because we are more in love now than, than we ever were. Sometimes I they just don't think they're being... Huh? I did that for a while, Bob, and then she asked me what I wanted. No, no. I mean, he just told me. He said, no, we are... You know, we're we're talking more and stuff. Sometimes yeah. after a certain amount of time, you 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 forget to do the small things and you know, yep. they they forget it. You know what I'm saying? So oh, if, yeah. if you treat it like it's a first date every time, they're they're gonna remember that and, and they're gonna love that and enjoy it. So you're not gonna have very many problems. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you're that's right. very that's really good advice, Bob. I used to do that when my girlfriend lived. I would know because I'd always get up hours before she did to go to work. And Joe, Joe, you got any every Joe? every morning I would go over to her huh? and I and come on, get over I would, here. I would lean over her and I'd hug her and I'd get kiss her and I'd say, I'm going to work now. And she after, mm -hmm. she would always tell her friends about that. She loved that I would do that because it was like Look, you know what I mean? I don't know. It's for me, it was kind of just that thing. Like you're never gonna see him again. Like I don't I you know, I drive three hours to work every right. day. I don't know if I'm gonna get in an accident and die. So sure. um so yeah, I mean there's just you, there it, I, that's the biggest thing is people get um complacent, people get mm -hmm. you know, you get to that point where it's just doing everything every day. What about you, Bruce? You were married for a long time. Joey what says are the things that helped it. Joey says, going? "Don't move him in career? unless you're going to marry him." That's Joey's advice. So what was it? But you don't know if you're going to marry <laughs> him unless that? you move him in. <laughs> you know, not my wife. She basically said, "We're not going to move in together." Either you're all yeah, in. but that's all. Yeah, you're. She, all, that, yeah. she goes, "Either you're all in or you're not." Yeah, yeah, my mom, my parents weren't yeah. happy when we moved in together before yeah. we got married. That was like a big no-no. Yeah. But it was just like, come on, let's be realistic. Yeah. What were what were some of the things you did for your wife? Like the little things that you, the little special things every now and then that you would do. What, to did, make you, what did you do right, Bruce? You got to, every once in a while, you got to stop and pick up some flowers on the way home. Yep. Did you that's do that? Good, that's a good one. Because they used to always have those roadside little people selling the flowers yeah. that are you know, coming through the country. Yep. You see them, Mike. Oh, yeah. It has nothing yeah, to do you with get, you get into the that. I mean, not any particular reason. You were, you just were stopping to pick them up flowers on the way home. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I went down that. I mean, you go, when you're 20, I went 20 years. So you do get comfortable and you yeah. get relaxed. And and everything, you just yeah. think, yeah, I come home. That's good enough. I make yeah. a, I make money and nope. the end of story, you know. But, yeah, I mean, you do. You do need to remember anniversaries. You do need to remember birthdays. <laughs> That helps, but I mean, you, you got to do something special once in a while, just out of the blue, for no particular reason at all. You know, it just lets them know that you're still interested. You know. Can you believe us three guys are single? Yeah, why are we single? <laughs> Can you believe you know, us? Right? Shit, right. and Bob, look at us. Yeah, he's hot. Yeah, he's yeah. Over there hiding. He's right here. He's right here. <laughs> you can't back. miss him. He's the only one with a fucking tan. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this, look at this white. Sarah, white Sarah, look at this whiteness. Sarah, look at that whiteness right there. I'm trying to hide Sarah saw me still back here. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's white right there. Bruce Bruce looks like he's just spent on the whole day on the golf course. Pretty much. You guys haven't oh, seen a white take him up here. If Bruce we haven't heard from, from Brian. Brian. Brian, what Bruce did you, you do? Hold right on, Bruce is saying or Bob saying. Yeah, Bob. Go ahead, Bob. Bob. What were you saying? Well, I said if Bruce lived in North Carolina, he wouldn't be single very long. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, what did you do right? Uh, you're not at the grocery well, store trying you know, to get you your wife. You can say that because your wife's not here to hit you at the back side. That's freaking head, great. Right? Dude, I can't see, see, you like, I, I, I need to get like a cutout to put right here. You gotta get a you gotta get a hand behind your head, Brian. Yeah, yeah where, right? where is your wife, dude? I feel like she would have so much to say about oh, all this. She, would, yeah. she is she out. Would. She is out getting all the ingredients needed to make me a sandwich. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. He said that. 
<laughs> yeah, he's gonna get me in trouble. Um, no, <laughs> so like with me and my wife, like I don't know, like we were just ourselves. Like we didn't try to impress each other because we knew each other before we started dating. So we like we were just us. Like we knew who we were. We knew kind of what we're getting into. There was no like hiding anything. Like we were able to just be who we are and not trying to impress one another. And then it goes away. So I, th- I think that actually helped a lot, to be honest. So what do you what do you do to keep things spiced up? Well, yeah, uh, that's what, what we're talking about. Not impressing. How are you spicing things up? Well, what are the random little things you've done that you just to let her know? Hey, I'm thinking about you. She's not around. You can lie. She's well, I mean, I mean, we yeah. well we text back and forth here and there, like you know, like hey, you know, have have a good day at work, or you know, what have you, um, or. I don't know, like, there's there's just little things, you know, that, you know, like, like when I go to bed, and, like, I'll make sure that she, know, she knows I'm there or whatever type thing. So that's that's kind of what it is. Yeah. It's the little things. Now, I yeah. think a little secrecy is great in a relationship. <laughs> Where'd that come from? <laughs> you said that. <laughs> no, Nick, no, no skeletons. skeletons in the closet. I said, no, you have oh. to have. You have to have you have to oh have yeah no skeletons in the closet are bad though when they find out man like yeah well right so, yeah. so like yeah so so nick nick probably doesn't know like you know like you know i you know i i had a kid before in a prior in a prior relationship so like i didn't tell anybody that when i would date people because i didn't want them to judge me for that i want to judge them for who i am and so that's something i did hide and maybe that Maybe maybe that did cost some relationships, which is fine. It's whatever. But but the fact is, it kind of shows me who the true person is. Once I do tell them, and then and then they decide to like, oh, you know, I don't want to be a part of this type thing, and then they you know walk away. Yeah. Well, that kind of shows me that it's not about me. Then it's it's they have a, a major grind or something like that, and they just yeah. don't want to be a part of it. So I'll I'll kind of kind push of, back on that. And you don't I, want I, I don't, you don't I want could, to show them that you're a drag queen right out the bat. If a girl so. if a girl did that to me. I don't know if I'd leave. I wouldn't. I don't know if I'd leave, but I would be highly upset that they didn't tell me from the beginning. Well, okay, I because I've been down that. Especially situation. if the kid is in your life. I understand. Life. Yeah, I understand. Are you my new daddy? So yeah, yeah I understand sure. that that whole thing, <laughs> and it makes sense because there are certain, you know, there are certain women that are like, okay, I have kids, but I don't want to share that information, or they don't. <laughs> maybe not so much share that information, but maybe not want to like introduce you to them. That's completely different. Yeah, that's a little different. But yeah, I mean, like, I don't want to let them kids. know that you have kids. I think it's important. I do believe that. Like, hey, I have three kids. Just a heads up. Hey, I have three kids. You know. Well, okay. So with me, like when when I would date other other girls before, like I I would always go into the relationship thinking in my head that they probably have a kid and they might not want to tell me like, that's the way I would approach every single relationship. Now. Right. So, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's the way I would approach it. Like so I expect them. My age now. Yeah. Yeah. I expect them to have a kid and they'll probably bring it up and, and then they'll, they will actually bring it up when they feel it's right versus prying into something like that. So like, that's the way I would, I do it. And so it doesn't bother me. Some guys. Yeah, absolutely. It will bother the hell out of them because it, they insist that there's some guys that will run. Yeah, literally run. Oh well, yeah, yep. there's a lot yeah. of guys that don't want. To and have I, to and, I, with and that. I don't disrespect those no. guys. That's fine. I get it. Some guys just aren't built that. They don't want that. Like me, if I I, I wouldn't mind if some if a girl had one kid, but if a girl has like two, I don't even know if I'm rolling <laughs> with two. What, you don't want an instant family? No, I don't want an instant family. Like I think he I could go with one. He wants if, his own. if I met a girl, she would have to be like guys, really special. Their, you know, their if she had two kids, like because it, I'm not even thinking about it. If you got two or three kids, it's like nah, I'm cool. Like I, I don't, I'm not built to have an instant family. I think I need to learn having one first. I'm not, I'm not ready to have three. To, you know, <laughs> bam, dad. No, <laughs> I'm cool. Well, age does make a difference, but he's 30. Yeah. So he wants to start his own family. And maybe not so much, you know. I wouldn't mind if a girl had one kid. That's fine. One but, kid, yeah. But I don't – and you know what I mean? It just depends on the situation too because yeah. I'm the type of guy that like – especially if they're yeah. young, like if I'm – if I mean your mom getting married, like you're going to listen to me. I'm yeah. not going to not – I'm right, not just like – I'm not just Mike that lives in the house yeah. and I, since I'm not your dad, you don't have to listen to me. Yeah. 
Like, right. and I would have to marry a girl that understood that. Like, a, she would have to understood if we yeah. live together, this is my house too. Yeah. And the, the kid kids, needs to listen to that. That's what the kid's cop is. Of. You're not. Would you get into that? Would you get into that? No, person? yeah. I don't Maybe, care if I'm not no, your dad. Okay, I'm not your dad. Then you don't get to eat tonight. This is, this is, this is, <laughs> this is, Mike, Mike, you yeah. don't get to eat tonight. <laughs> hey, up. I'm just saying, that's how I was raised, you man. Sleep in the backyard. Mm -hmm. huh? my, my, dad was, my dad was fair, but he was tough. No, yes. Mike wants Mine like too. Mike wants he's gonna start late in life, but he no wants ready to well, well, <laughs> Becky, I'm one of nine. So he's one of nine, yeah. I know what it's like to have a big family. Yeah. What is that? Uh is there still an alpha male in 2021? Are there still alpha males out mean? there? I yeah. I'm gonna say no. From what I've been seeing, what I'm gonna say alpha no. Male? Well, alpha yeah. male, dude. Come on. Are there? Yeah. I guess it depends on what your definition of an alpha male is. There, it's pretty basic and not what an alpha male is. Okay, well, stop saying it and tell me what the definition is. I mean, a that's, man's man. That's a man's man, dude. I mean, that's that's like, you know. Hey, I'm John, I, I, I will be totally honest with you, okay? Anybody, family member, friends, or anything else that comes over to my house, they will know that I am the alpha male. You, yeah, you <laughs> make what that I, What I said goes. Okay, yeah. then there's no way, and there's no way around it. Okay, you want to change my out. mind? I mean, then then you pay my mortgage. All right. Up until that point, everything I say goes around here. Now, Morgan is just see, smiling. Morgan, I don't get how that can be an alpha male because that's how I was when my friends would come over to my house with a party. If something pissed me off, I'd tell them straight up, "Look, shut the fuck up. This is my house." Well, I, I think we're fucking. Don't go. Listen, you're you gonna listen to, to me. You need to calm down, or you're gonna leave the house. Oh now. no. <laughs> So I well, 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 straight up. You can shut the hell up or you can get the hell out of my house. I, I, this is, this mm -hmm. is my house. You're in my so, house. So I, I, I think I we're talking like an alpha male. Right. But I, I think we're talking talking about two different types of alpha males, maybe. So one, like I picture is like guys who like are in the dating scene. So like, like the alpha male, like, you know, I, I have the ability to get in when I want to type thing and it doesn't take any effort. You know, that's sort of alpha male. And then like, and then like the other one is like the parent alpha male, like, you know what I say goes in my house, or like you yeah, know, yeah. Who, no, the parent, who uh, has an apartment, the, yeah. the or the apartment male. who's the one is that is directing the show per se at like parties or whatever. Like this is like my show. Like I think those are like all different scenarios where yeah, so each alpha male could be completely different. Yeah, I mean, so I like what you. what I think of alpha male is is just a guy who's just trying to pick up girls who who actually is creating no effort into it who kind of is strutty versus you know who doesn't give two shits about anybody else like a babe and magnet. yeah and like he will actually <laughs> you're like Brad Pitt. you're Brad Pitt. Yeah. yeah and then like he'll also like if you like want to go up and talk to him and buy him beer he won't even talk to you like at all or like he'll say like yeah in a little bit and then, like he won't even talk to you, you know, because so you're not in like his crew. Explanation is more what I was thinking. Well, yeah, that's alpha. what I, that's what I was getting at. Is is that guy mm -hmm. that guy that that knows that has that confidence that's that's able to walk into a bar, a restaurant, and just he knows he just you know doesn't matter what he looks like, doesn't matter what he's wearing, he's just you know he's primal. That sounds like a beta male. No, yeah, oh, yeah, no, those guys exist. I've got a brother like that. He's got seven kids with four of the women. Morgan, isn't that the opposite, though? He's okay, constantly so on a hunt. I mean, I was in the hospital two years ago, so he had to bring my uh, my cell phone charger to the emergency room, and I had this really hot nurse, right? She was awesome. He followed her around for like 15 minutes, like trying to, you know, make time with her and stuff. I finally said, I said dude, look, she's busy. Go the fuck home, all right? <laughs> she, she's not going to give you her number. Leave her alone. You're you're not the center of everyone's universe. Go home. She's busy. All right. Yeah. But no, I have a brother just like that. Yeah, he is he is an alpha male when when, when he's out on the hunt. So they're they're out there. That's why I was just kind of wondering. Do you mm -hmm. think that's gone though with this different type of generation where the, the, that guy just had that you know well, I, maybe I, not so much cocky because it's really not cocky well, it's, it's because, the new generation john they, they don't know what gender they are so yeah that's the other problem can't really be they don't know if they're they don't know if they need so, to yeah. cut it off yeah. or leave it on yeah. or yeah. 
They don't need See, to know if they that's need to put I in the bag. I think it. it's different because the real alpha males, like what a real alpha male would be, they don't. They won't put it out there. Well, right. Well, Mike, exactly. Like they they yeah, show right it to now. a point. Might as well. They so, like, think to me, it an alpha male well. would be like Might guys well. that are badass, like Navy SEALs. Like right. those fucking guys to me, that's like an alpha male. That's a man's man. He's tough. He, you know, and, but he'll never put himself out there like that. He'll, he's never going to tell you that. He's always an alpha male. He's not going to be braggadocious about it at all. It's just, it's guys that want to be, I feel like that's what we're talking about. It's guys that want to be like, oh, I'm a man's man. I'm the shit. That's what we're talking about. That's, we guys that just, that's our definition of what guys, we're talking and about. And some guys are just about even trying. Just, yeah. Just what they are. They are. That's what I'm saying. There, there are, there are those that are out there that are just like that. Just now, now, Bruce, you can't be talking about yourself here, all right? So just so you know, it's automatic with Bruce. I mean, <laughs> you, you know, you swipe right, you you, you start packing the overnight bag, oh, and it's, it's just that's just gonna happen. Morgan, what we're the what, date don't go right at the date end. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's good. What were you saying though, Morgan, about the beta male? Thing? No, so like, so like the whole like you know the whole scenario that like you guys were talking about like that to me more sounds like a beta male because like what because like i've always thought of kind of alpha males being like pack build you know kind of like you know pack builders not necessarily like guys who want to just like you know come into a room or whatever it's like strut their stuff kind of not give people like the time of day like that sounds kind of more like a guy who's trying to overcompensate for something. Yeah. No, so you think the alpha male, male is a different I get what she's because saying. that alpha male isn't he he doesn't think that way. He's not compensating. He knows. He knows yeah, right. if he's like carrying himself. No, but there's I get what she's hold on, but what she's know. saying is yeah, I know what she's saying. She's saying like he can't handle being in a group. Yeah. He can't handle that. So he's off by himself. But the real alpha male is the guy that's in the group, but he's maybe the guy that's at the front of the group. The pack leader. He's right. the pack leader. Right. The pack leader. Right. Yeah. And the beta male is the guy that he can't handle that. He can't be that. So he wants to be by himself because if he's in that pack, yeah. he's exposed as the yeah. non alpha. Yeah, he's, yeah. Right. He's so, exposed. Like he can't, you know, he can't, you know, talk to anybody else. Otherwise, he's got to like tear him down to make himself look. You yeah, know, so it's like it's like that movie yeah. where they talk about the girl that has like she's like an eight, but she hangs out, or she's like a six, but she hangs out with friends that are fours. Right. So make sure she make looks sure hot yeah. around them. Yeah. But then when yeah. you when you cover them up, she, you know she is what she is, and, and they do that. They pictures of that, and, and that's the same like thing. That. They're going, okay, look at the group. Okay, now make, make yeah. the window. So, oh, so, it's so always here's, like that, yeah. we've always yeah. known that. <laughs> Here's a good example. Like if you take the movie Days and Confused and you take Matthew McConaughey's character in there, that's like an alpha male. <laughs> he is the alpha male. He's the dominant okay. character. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. I want to see which that movie, movie are you talking about? Days and Confused. Days and Confused. Haven't Days and Confused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which yeah. One or, or the one where he's a photographer. Okay, well, you can't say every movie he's in, he's an alpha well, male. Well, pretty much every fucking movie he's in is an alpha male, dude. I mean, give me a fucking break. Dude. I see where this is going already. It's fucking Matthew McConaughey, dude. Okay, well, him himself. like he's like He, he doesn't he might play be. a softie in any... Well, maybe yeah, well, in Philadelphia. Maybe in Philadelphia. Yeah. I mean, even well, in the I mean, Lincoln commercials, he's out ice thing. Yeah, even in the Lincoln commercial, he's a fucking alpha male in the yeah, Lincoln, yeah, dude. Not by himself, ice thing. <laughs> <laughs> See, I had like that much where like Mike almost spit out his drink. Like it was that close. <laughs> <laughs> it's Matthew McConaughey, dude. I mean, he's a good guy. Everything he yeah, does is an out talk. Well, well, that's. For, uh, I just I just is, saw him today on Ellen. Ellen. Well, I walked by my mom's oh, really? TV and she's watching he's Ellen, and he's he slick back off. hair, fucking just sitting there like shooter. He knows he's a badass. He just knows Who? it. Alfred, Matthew McConaughey. See, like, but he doesn't put it out there like that, though. He, he, no, he exactly. doesn't have to, though. He, that, it just, My it point doesn't exactly. Work. He doesn't have to. Because he's not that way. He's yeah. a humble guy. He's a humble guy, but See, see, like, like what Morgan was saying, like the difference between like an alpha and beta. The beta is the one that's trying hard to be like the alpha. Yes, but if he's in the pack, he's shown that he's not. He's at the bottom. Right, right. So exactly. he can't do that. Magic Mike is perfect alpha male. <laughs> 
Fast and the Furious males. Yeah. Well, that would be what's his well, name? Denzel or uh, no? What, Vin what's Vin it? Vin Diesel. Vin, Vin, Vin Diesel. Diesel. Paul Walker. The Rock. But Vin 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 in the later Tyrese. ones, you have you Vin can Vin see Vin you can see the alpha, alpha male. male fighting in those later ones when with with uh, with Vin Diesel and The Rock. Oh well, yeah. You yeah. can see those, and there was there's there's rumors about them too clashing. Uh, then they, they were well, all upset they were clashing because they're they're two alpha males. They're just two alpha. Well, actually, actually, actually the Rock is a, yeah. too many yeah, teeth, actually, not enough Indians. Yeah. 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 Actually, actually, the Rock is actually a good example of like being an alpha male because he he's not trying to be somebody he's not. He is who he is, yeah. and people like him for that. And he's like he's a big strong dude. He can pretty much almost do whatever. You know what I mean? Like. He has fun with what he does. If you watch his in- Instagram stuff, like he's having fun no matter what he's doing. Like you know, he's enjoying his life. He like he's well, having like, fun. I like, he, like, and, like in, when he's when he's doing the the, the funnier movies. Do you consider right. him Southern though? That he's from Texas though. Uh, Matt yeah. Matthew is Southern. Yeah, he's absolutely. Southern, yeah, he's, he's a Southern guy. Yeah, he's got that. He's got that plane. He's talking about oh, running. Yeah. But just because he's Southern doesn't oh. make it. That you're like an alpha male, though. Like, that's no, not how it's going. What the hell do you mean? <laughs> no, but a lot of southern oh, guys really? are no, more like alpha, alpha males. Male. <laughs> Jason, she had alpha male my ass. We go out, we hurt, we we skin it, we we cook it, we eat it. How more? How yeah, much more yeah, alpha yeah, male do you want? Okay, I'll just stand here with a try and look alpha. How much more alpha do you want? I'm holding my vape up. Do I look alpha? <laughs> Joey, are you alpha? No, you Joey's a beta. Male? Joey's Italian. Joey's yeah. Italian. He's beta male. He's, he's Joey's, Joey's Italian. Whoa, is a beta whoa, male. Whoa, 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 Bob. Joey's whoa. running with the we to, Do we need to put a hit on you, Bob? Hey. Bob, Bob, Bob's got a fair point. Just because you're Italian hey, doesn't make you alpha. The you ring you on now. Yes. Yeah. Hey, don't let you me tell old know. Italian men they're beta don't let, males. Don't let me pull the cross out, Bob. Don't let me pull the cross <laughs> no, out. there's only two. There's only two alpha Italian males, the right? Bob no. Corleone and Tony yeah, Soprano. Joey, Joey's Other gonna get the pinky ring, ring out, Bob. Joey's gonna get the pinky <laughs> ring out, Joe, Bob. Hey, hey, am I kissing the ring? <laughs> ain't kissing no ring. He's not kissing the ring, Joe. <laughs> yeah. Bada bing, bada boom. Hey, oh, yeah. you want to see how much Joey's alpha male? Yeah, let me invite Joey to the Banjo Festival and see how long he lasts, all right? The banjo, oh, Joey, you going to the Banjo Festival with Bob? Oh, if you oh, go, he yeah. goes, he said. I'll go. Hey, hey, is that the one where they want you to squeal like a pig? Huh? Is that the one where they want you to squeal like a pig? You're talking about deliverance. Uh, no. Yeah. Uh, that's deliverance. <laughs> There will be no screen like a pig. So, so uh, well, Morgan, since you're the only female on the panel tonight, okay. are there still any alpha males out there? Yeah. There's yeah. one sitting right next to me right here. No, I mean, and mine. I think it's pretty easy to tell, you know, who's who's an alpha, you know, and who isn't. I think it's pretty easy to tell. At least for me it is, but... Now, is there a difference between old school guy and an alpha male? Well, what's like old school would be the guy that's pulling the chair out for you. He's being courteous. Well, I think those two kind of go like hand in. Well, I mean, at least to me, I, I think they should go like you know hand in hand. Really, the alpha male today has been warped. Women think well, now yeah. the alpha male is the tough guy, the guy that. Puts yeah. it out there, the guy that's braggadocious, that that the guy that's yeah. up front and center. I think the gentleman, is but the, the uh, old school alpha males, they're not like that. I'm not alpha. No, I'm not an alpha male. But yeah, I mean, you know, yeah, they, they kind of they kind of beat up the gentleman nowadays because they just yeah, you know, yeah. they don't want the door open. They don't want you to. You know. I don't get that. Like I, I, I still don't get that. It's like I like I don't personally view it as as a, you know, however these damn feminists are, are like reading it nowadays. Right? Yeah. But like I don't view it at, you know view it that way. It's like why can't you just take somebody doing 
you know, doing something nice for you, a guy doing something nice for you. It's like, what, like, you know, for example, I was driving to, I, I was doing like an undercover kind of like sting thing for like a gas station. I used to work for doing like the cigarette, you know, ID things. And I was on my way to one of the stores and I ended up getting a flat tire. And so I, you know, pulled off and I was starting, I mean, I know how to change a tire, but like this, this guy had stopped, you know, stopped over. And at first I was kind of like, okay, you know, whatever. And he, you know, helped, you know, help me change my tire. Mm -hmm. Feminist today would have been like, well, yeah. Gotta hide find you now. But like I you, you know, it's like it's just somebody doing something nice for you. Like why like why do you mm -hmm. gotta get all well, you I mean, know, upset about we, it? We like, were we were taught, you know, how to suck it, Johnny. Or, I, I mean I would have gals racing to the door. Or even you're walking down the sidewalk, the guy's always curbside. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. there, I mean, there's, there's, there's. Rules, now, but, you know? but <laughs> I, I want to believe that even the ultra feminist who didn't know how to change the tire would still accept the help of some guys pulling over. Where's the help? Her, <laughs> to well, help maybe, her. Well, I mean, she's not going to sit there just be abandoned. Well, she might like call like I don't know, like her dad, her brother, you know, like, knows maybe, but like I, you know, well, you too, JP. <laughs> I mean, if it's not like practical, it's, it's it's just it's like okay, well, you'll you should accept the help that you know you get. Yeah. So I just don't get why, you know, <laughs> women get so pissed off about it. It's like, yeah. or, hold on, know, let me ask my the door, like. Yeah. Let me ask Mike. So you pull over to help her, and she looks at you and goes, I can fucking handle this myself. What, what, do, you, what do you say, Mike? Oh, I, I don't, don't say nothing. I just don't say nothing. You just get in your truck yeah. and go. I just walk away. Yeah. i just curious. Go ahead, Morgan. I, I just want to hear his response to that question. <laughs> Miss you too, JP. I need to come over and see your kid. Yeah. I need to see my grandson. Can you bring him over? Thank you. I've been taking pictures of him all the time. Yeah. I don't get enough. Yeah, no, I, I speaking of that, we Brian actually posted. We have a, a, per, a private chat that we have for our other show. And Brian had posted an article about is she she's a girl, she's graduated now, right, Brian? She's out of high school. Yeah, she's and she's she, out of high school, she's in college now. Fresh, I think right, freshman. She's out of Connecticut. And her her deal is she lost a lot of opportunities to winning some championships from track and field because transgenders are allowed to, to run in these events in high school. And to mm -hmm. me, we've, we talked about this on the sports show. Where are all the feminists? Where are all the women that have been fighting for the last 50 years for rights that are now losing scholarships the transgenders that are blowing them away. I mean, th this girl has lost, I think she said 14 championships now because of this, mm -hmm. or something, 11 or 12. Yeah, she lost like state titles. She lost uh, city and county and region like brand. championships yeah. Yeah. and all that's, that stuff. That's like, sad, dude. She, that's okay, so bad. she she worked she worked all throughout high school to get all these accomplishments, all these mm -hmm. accomplishments for her. And she got up to like, you know, and she was actually one of the top runners in her state. Yeah. And she was within, within like the top three. And then they let uh, transgenders run in with her. And yeah. then she mm -hmm. lost everything. And they were mm -hmm. beating her time by like, you know, you know, Fire. it wasn't wow. slim margins. It was ridiculous margins. Yeah. I would have raised hell. Well, she is. As a dad oh, good. of a daughter, I would be one pissed off dad. Okay. I mean, I'm glad that she actually, you know, she she was actually able to get into college and keep doing what she's doing. But, you know, those are awards that she should have won. And not to mention, I forget what the number was. Uh, I, other girls that lost to those to right. those guys, too. Because uh, there was it wasn't just her numbers. It was like 74. Complete titles, Brian, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Something like that. I'm that, actually looking uh, everything up right now, too. Connecticut. This is just Connecticut that have lost. Right. That were yeah. lost. Go ahead, Bob. 
Well, the the uh, three the three biological males, transgender girls, they're all African American. Uh, I saw something today. I saw a picture with a with a podium picture that, that there was three bio, but there were those those three males, and all the and all the uh, other girls didn't make the podium. But anyway, um, I got the yeah. uh, well, I got the article up here, and she's saying that. Um, uh, it was uh, the last championship. It was two uh, at first. It was she two believes at first. there was 15 state championships that the two biological males took from the right. biological females, and there were right. more than 85 girls that missed out on opportunities to advance yeah. in middle, middle, and make finals. Right, yeah. but, but I also That's think sad. that they wanted to that they they wanted to scrub her article and take out any reference to biological males. Of course. Yeah, I actually think I said that one That was the whole beef of the article is the way she wrote it. Yeah, the way she wrote it. They wanted to change, they Mm -hmm. changed her wording because of what Mm -hmm. she, but yeah, I mean, that's the, I I mean, I I mean, he doesn't have a daughter, but I have a daughter and, and if my daughter wasn't able to compete at that level or she was at that level, but all of a sudden, you know, she just, you know, can't compete with the guy that's now a girl, which isn't fair because, he, you know, we know he was a guy and he's going to be faster. His muscle structure, his body, everything is different. So it's just, you know, I lost my two co-hosts. They went right. Well, well here's, here's the thing with that is the like, do I, do I think that, you know, it's unfair to restrict people from competing? Yes. How or where they compete can be the issue because of the fact that now you've got people with more testosterone who are who actually are physically, you know, more physically fit than the other side is to compete. So it takes them less effort to actually, you know, go through that. And like uh, Bob might know this, like the WNBA uses a smaller three-point line and they use a smaller ball yes. for their games. I always so, forget Morgan. Yeah. So, so I mean, with that being said, um, they do try to make make it more competitive for female athletes. I always athletes forget you, bait. For for these, so, um, so to put a male or biological male per se, and with biological females to compete against each other, it's going to be an unfair advantage. And and I think that's where the article is talking about. Me personally, do do I have do I have an issue with people changing or you know transitioning? No. Do I have an issue with you know how they compete? I, I think there should be a different rules for that because now we're restructuring things a tad bit more, and maybe like you know even if you know they they don't have as many people competing, but there's actually a section for them. Well, I like to get I mean Morgan's opinion on this. I mean, if you had a daughter, seriously, that wouldn't upset you. Oh, I'd I, well. Like I said, I mean, like personally, if it were me going through that, I'd be raising hell. And especially if it were my child, I'd also, I think, well, I don't know. I think the amount of hell I would raise would would, would probably be about equal. Yeah. So, well, you, like, I know how it is with kids because they, what, what I like always used to do was like, I would like, I, I would ask my son, how much do you want me to be involved in this? Because like right. my son ran into that issue with Little League Baseball. There was a yeah. lot of politics in Little League Baseball. So I always used to ask my son, how much do you want me to be involved? And if he That's didn't want me to be that involved, he wanted to take care of it himself, then I would let him or he'd say, you know, give me, you know, get involved a little bit, Dad, but don't go too far, too crazy. That's what my dad would do too. Yeah. And I mean, for me, I would probably do the same thing. But it's like if my daughter – has worked her ass off to be say let's just say the best in California, but then all of a sudden this a change a transgender jumps in and then all of a sudden it's not just beating my daughter by uh, five tenths of a second. Right. But he he's, he's literally beating my daughter by five seconds, you know, or th- or even more some in some cases. And my daughter's going to lose out on that scholarship or lose out on that. Right. We're talking about money. I mean, I mean, we are talking about, you know, college, you know, funds. And it's like, you know, like, you know, college isn't getting any cheaper, you know. So it's just, you know, it's just, it's like you're losing out on important funds 
for yeah. that to help, you know, lessen any kind of cost. And, you know, yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I mean, yeah. I, I mean, I mean, livid. Yeah, no disrespect to transgenders. I no, mean, that's I, fine. We want to do that. That's fine. But if you're right. taking away something from my child, and, and, and you're right, you're, you're talking about hundreds of thousands of dollars. The difference between going from to, from Stanford then to a junior college is a big difference, man. And if your yep. daughter can get into Stanford, which is probably what, 50, 60, $70,000 a year. Probably. Yeah. And yeah, going to a junior 50, college. 50, 60, I mean, that's, that's, that's a big difference. And, and it's upsetting because I would, I, I don't know if I could handle that. Yeah. I mean like the whole reason why I ended up, you know, just, just, just the whole, like, you know, you know, cost of college thing, like here in Wisconsin, like UW Madison is kind of the, you know, the more expensive, but kind of regarded as the more, you know, prestigious, you know, so you're going to school to be a lawyer, which is not no, cheap. Or, well, well, no, no, no. I'm, I'm going to be a crime scene, uh, uh technician, a te but, okay. but like, well, the thing was, was, was this was also like, my third major change too. So it was kind of like, stop you know, it. You're killing your parents. No, no. Cause I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm paying for it. You're killing yourself then. Well, yeah. And you know, I was kind of like, yeah, you know, after this time I was kind of like, all right, that's it. I don't care if I'm not doing what I think I'm going to be doing. I just, I want to have the degree and I want to be out. I don't want to do this anymore. But like I ended up going to, um, a school that was more, you know, nearby, it was still within like the UW system. So I had, you know, still like the same sort of the same sort of cost, but like, I didn't go live on campus. I didn't do any of that stuff. Cause it was, cause it was cheaper to not live on campus and do all this other stuff. I mean, plus I didn't really want that experience anyway, cause I didn't want to deal with the whole roommate thing. But like, even without that, it's like, it's still expensive and just, thinking if it were me losing out on all of that money that that you know like you know she, well, she Biden really wants to pay for it all like won it you know she she earned that money yeah. and you know poof it's gone it's yeah. like Biden wants to flip the bill for you now Morgan <laughs> yeah but Morgan in the same respect like you know if a transgender <laughs> athlete you know comes and actually does get the scholarship versus the other one it's still a factor that she did actually get that right mothership. Yeah. So I mean that I mean it's it's true. Like that's that's how you say it. Like she is the one that got the scholarship. Yeah. So I mean I mean to me like you know if let's let's just put a, uh, like a scenario out there like you have neighbors and you are good friends with the neighbors and like they're a kid you know we'll just say like we'll just throw out like fifteen um, and. 16. We'll just say 16. And say your daughter has been like in high school sports quite a while and worked really hard to be like a really good basketball player, you know, and she's doing really good. And, you know, the school actually wants to put her on like, you know, the starting, you know, on the, on the, on the, on the starting squad versus, you know, a BRC squad. Okay. You know, a freshman being on, you know, starting squad in high school is a big thing. Okay. Yep. Well then your neighbor's kid who is transgender, um, you didn't even know that they decided to put her in basketball. And also now that person gets a starting spot versus your kid. You know what I mean? Like that sort of scenario is actually a real scenario. Yeah. And how does somebody actually deal with that? Well, I, I mean, yeah, I just, well, kind of like what John said earlier, it'd be kind of like, okay, you know, you know how much, you know, do you want me to be involved? Can. You know, it's going to be hilarious. <laughs> oh no. Uh -oh. Say hi. Uh -oh. Hi, I just got done eating a sandwich in case you didn't know. Quiet, quiet, Danielle. How are you doing? Danielle, no, don't I'm go, Danielle. Danielle, wait. Run, Danielle. Uh, Danielle, wait. Danielle, wait. Come back. No, run away. Run away, I've got Danielle. Ah, oh, dang it. I'm sending you that book. Run away. Hold on. I'm, oh, okay. I'm sending you that book. No. Yeah, run. I am. Brian you gave me your. I'm sending you the book, and she's when gonna I, burn it. When I no, she won't burn it. No, when I come over. Mac, you have to head with it. I I better get that sandwich. Make your own damn sandwich, otherwise you get PB and J. But hold on, since you're or on. Or and dog food. <laughs> since you're on, we get a second woman's opinion. 
How do you feel about that chan- transgender thing that we were talking about? I don't know if you heard. She, what she, we were she, she doesn't know about it yet. I just I'll go ahead and update her a little bit. Okay, Brian. So uh, in in Connecticut, you have a daughter. Female, yeah, there's actually a female who actually went throughout high school in track, and she was like top in track, and she was going to get scholarships and all that stuff, and she was actually the top in the state for track, and two transgender males came in to run track in the female squad, and she got everything all wiped away. It's bullshit. <laughs> you gotta give us more than bullshit. It's like that's like that fifty-some-year-old transgender woman that went and played college basketball and got a full ride scholarship. Like, yeah, the fifty-year-old transgender basketball star from San Jose. <laughs> yeah, like I mean, I get like kudos for going back to college and stuff like that. But if you're looking at getting scholarships and stuff like that, don't be doing that. Like, it's. Yeah. Well, that, that's got to really hurt. I mean, if like, it's, in that situation is, you're talking about, that really sucks because yeah. that girl or whatever is taking away an opportunity from someone from a junior college to actually get right. a scholarship to a four-year college. Well, and, I mean, if you're looking at a, a sport that has both male and female teams and you're a biological male, like I get that you want to run with others that you associate more closely with. But I think when you're looking at athletics, I don't think that you can really take into consideration anything other than their biological gender because they're built differently. I mean, if you're looking for women's equality and men's equality, I don't think that you can really put a transgender you know, male into a female sport and think that it's going to be competitive. Yeah, You notice we're I not mean, having a problem I mean, going the other direction. Yeah, right. there's no problem. The, the other, other direction. direction, the other direction. I mean, if you have a transgender female that goes into a male sport, they may or may not excel. They're not doing it. They can't compete, they're not compete. doing it. They wouldn't be able to compete. I mean, there's probably a sport out there that they could probably be at the same. Like yeah, what? curling, curling, <laughs> sandwich making. <laughs> hey, uh, you can see championships. That's two of them. And well, 85 girls. Transgenders like making sandwiches yeah. for John. Yeah. yeah. I would like yeah. to see a, tra- a, a a woman that trans that transgender to a, a male go and try to run track against the guys or go and try to. Well, yeah, like, tra- yeah. They're just naturally yeah. not going to happen. I mean, look what happened with the 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 USA women's soccer team. What did they yeah. played the college team and got their ass beat? The high school team got their ass beat. The high school. Team. I mean. You, we're not going to have the problem the other way. And that in itself shows that it shouldn't be allowed going the other direction. That, that's why we brought this up. It's just like, where are all the, fi- the feminists? Where are the feminists? Why aren't they complaining about this? You guys have worked so hard for the last 40, 50 years to finally get an opportunity. To, what, is, what, is it, what is it called, Bob, in, 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 in college? Title IX. Title IX. We had Title IX. Title IX. I mean, and, the thing is, is like we, we've we always as, you know. Are you guys just being politically correct struggle. for well, once? we've always had to struggle for more to, you know, be representative when it comes to, you know, voting rights and equality when it comes to our jobs and pay, like equal pay for the same work that we're doing. Um, I mean, still in today's work field, you still have to work two and a half times harder than a man to get the same pay and the same recognition. Yeah. Whoa, so, whoa, I, whoa, 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 whoa. We're just going to let her get that off? Yeah, we're not going to. Uh, no me touching that, huh? <laughs> we're, no. we're, uh, sorry. This guy's going to push back on that. Well, uh, well of well, course you are because you're like macho man millennial. I'm not macho he's man. He's an alpha man. No, I'm not man. macho man. I'm fat man. Well, 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 here's, here's the deal to be it, like, so am I. So if you're if you're saying that when Forbes does research and they say that the, the average you female is three and a half times right. harder, put they're wrong. Three and a half times, yeah. So Forbes is wrong. They're lying. Yes, they're lying to you. Yeah. Okay. E-commerce, well, e commerce have broken it down, and when you break it down by how much women work compared to men and everything like that. Actually, in my age group, women make more. Women get degrees at a higher rate and they actually make more from like, I think it's like 25 to 35 years old. Women make more than men do. Yeah, that's true. Okay, well, okay, so, he, so here's a question between us two. Who makes more than who, who makes more? I have a master's degree, honey. If she has a master's degree. That's, that's, that's a difference. Who makes more? I make more because okay. I have a master's. She has degree. a master's degree. 
And she should make more because she has a No, we're talking about same people at the same job. Right. The only reason that men do make more is because if you break it down, a lot of women, majority of women take off time to to raise families. Which is and, bullshit. And kid, but they do. Well, I don't know we how it's bullshit. To. You, you don't have, have to. to. That's your choice. Yes, we do. You chose to have we a family. physiologically have to take off maternity leave because guess what? There's nobody else to take care of that child. It's, it, I'm not talking about maternity you leave. Hush, you don't have a kid. I'm not talking about maternity leave, though. That's not the same thing. If you take so, off six weeks, that's not going to affect it. But if you take off three years, four years, yeah. yes. That's a different that's, story. That male is but going, still, and that's, that's what I'm saying, though. That's what, that's what people are bring into account. There are women that are literally afraid to have children because yeah. taking that 12 weeks off to have your kid, your kid and get your kid into a daycare can mean the difference between getting your promotion and not getting a promotion. That's the issue. Sometimes it can. Well, well, well. To be and, fair, and, and well, why should a businessman? Why should a businessman yeah. not promote the guy that he knows right. is going to be there? He knows isn't yeah, going to have to take time off. That's capitalism. That's that's capitalism. Well, Mike, of course, to be I'm fair, gonna, so I'm going to promote the person that I know is going to be able to be there. I don't want to yeah. have to worry about yeah. my top guy. Well, just because, because you have a dick have that a makes you more Hold promotable. On, Danielle, honestly, honestly, Danielle, if you ran a business, which one are you going to promote? The one that's better for the job and has more education and is okay, but if they're equally better for it, but you know one of them could potentially have to take months off of work to have kids, and one of them is going to be there to run your company and will not have to take months off. You don't know. Well, who okay. are you going well, to ask pick? those questions? Well, Mike, Mike, here, here, here's, you, you can't assume anything right. because right. I you, you can't assume it. But no. but right. the average right. the average business guy well, is going to take that. The other thing. problem and is too is that women problem. are getting jobs and then having kids like a couple months into their job and then expecting these companies to pay for their maternity leave, which is that's bullshit. wrong. That's it, wrong. I'm going to say using jobs for just their benefits when it comes to maternity leave. I Don't see it happening. Me. She already it's, hates me. It's happening and stuff like that. <laughs> no, it is. Is would you rather have that woman be on welfare? And have it coming out no, of the tax? No, 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 no. I don't want her on welfare. I'm not saying that. But as as an owner of a business, a as an owner of a business, my my intentions is to make a profit. And to make a profit, I need to have people that are going to be there and work every right. day. Well, that's well, right, you need to invest that's, in people that are gonna be there long term. Okay, okay, hold on. Right, no, okay, because you gone. can't invest in people long term anymore. You just can't yeah. do that anymore. That's people leave jobs all the time. It's not 1950, 1960 anymore. Okay, John. Okay, I'm gonna give you two scenarios. Okay, one, like Mike was saying, they're both equal skill, they're both equal everything, and you're they're both applying for the same job. And when you meet them, like one's got a little bit more personality that would actually be a better fit than the other one. Which one would you choose? Um, what's that guy's name? What's that kid? The, the professor from Canada, Jordan Peterson talks about this yeah. and he yeah. was saying, and it's, it's personality. A lot of his personality. The reason why men get promoted more is because they have that, that cutthroat personality and that equates better in capitalism. Okay. Well, okay. So, well, right. But like, each study is it, it's just different. actually the way men are. It's not like yeah. you're right. choosing the man. But, it's just okay. that if you found a Each, woman that was cutthroat, which a lot right. of women oh. that excel in being lawyers and CEOs and stuff, yeah. you meet a lot of them, they're tough. They're Brian, more cutthroat than guys. You don't have to be a feminist right now. Your wife's gone. No, no, I'm not. <laughs> Dude, shut up. He's not. I love Brian. Brian. But, but here's the thing. Like, I like I like to look at like all sides. So like if if I had if I had a job employees and all, like you know, I was the owner of a business, and let's just say, um, uh, like a manager quits just out of nowhere, and I had two people equal, equal style, like equal people that have the opportunity to take the job, but I need it filled, like right now. But the Throw one is actually, there, is actually be having a kid in like two weeks, and yeah, or no, like I'm week, picking the guy, and and I don't have time to train them. Because they're going to be taking like six weeks, six or six weeks, twelve weeks off. No, one thousand. So like, I'm taking the guy. Well, exactly, the, the, and and the, and this on, this is kind of my point is it's mic, it's Joe. about the scenario versus the sex. Wow. Oh yeah, it is, but people don't want to admit that. That's the problem. Right. If you break right. it down, like I said, a communist like Tom, like Thomas Sowell, 
it, it has been doing has been an economist for 60 years taught it all these top schools and he said if you break it down he said this since like the 80s and the, like since the 70s if you break it down if you break down the wage gap it get once you account like guys working more women taking care of kids all this stuff and taking time off out of the workplace if once you break it all down the wage gap becomes so minute it's not even worth talking about anymore well, there right. Well, there is no yeah. gender pay gap when it comes. Oh, well, time but, out. But people won't admit it, Bob. Right. You have any input, Bob? You've been quiet. This is the quiet. No, I, I wanted to hear Morgan's input because she's another woman. I yeah. want to see where she falls on this, and then we'll go to Bob. All right, Morgan, you first. Morgan first. Okay. Well, I guess I don't have because I'm just. I mean, I've worked like retail, you know, retail jobs, you know, fast food jobs. Like I haven't like worked in a ton of like you know environments i think where you know that would the the only time, you're competing. well the the only time that i felt a little bit uh swindled you know sort of was my first my first job was at uh mcdonald's and i had gotten kind of all the way up to like a crew trainer kind of you know position and i was basically like one step down from being a manager which there was no way in hell I was ever going to do. Cause that's just like, no thanks. But <laughs> there was, there was a guy Another reason why who had yeah, like just know. started and I ended up somehow kind of finding out that he was making more than me, even though he wasn't all, you know, also like a <laughs> crew trainer. So I was kind of like, eh. but but then again, I didn't know what his work spirit, ugh, what his work experience was like before that. So yeah. I'm not entirely right. sure what yeah, the scenario wild. was, but I still kind of felt a bit swindled because I was like, okay, well, I'm still technically a step above yeah, yeah, him, and he's below right. me. So why, so why is he making more than me? Yeah. Right, and and well, well like, my my question to that is like. What more experience does that person have over you, well, or not? Well, well you know I, I mean? didn't know that though. So, right. so, so, like that could have been a fact. She, she, she's conceding like, that she did not. Right, know. Right, right. But, but I was still kind of like, okay, even if you had more, because I think at that point I had been working there for. Let's see, how long did I stay there? I think maybe like a. I, I think the total time I stayed there stayed there was like a year and a half. I think. And I had been there for a year. <laughs> and Joe then red. started. No. And I was kind of like, okay, right over here. Yeah, yeah, right here. Technically uh -huh. above him. Uh -huh. And, you know, he just started. So I was kind of like, well, even if he had prior experience, uh -huh. like, like, why would he still be making more than me if I'm technically, uh -huh. like, above him? Yep. I, and, and I've actually been in that same scenario, but actually reverse, where – one of my other jobs, oh, like, so one of awesome. my jobs before up here is I actually work for the New York Times newspaper. Uh, if you dial in uh, an 800 number and, you know, try to get your, you know, uh, uh, issues about, like, your where your delivery was or they got changed vacation or change yeah, addresses, like, that was what I did, okay? Mm -hmm. So my part, like, I worked with this guy. His name is Joe. Great guy. He's flamboyantly gay. Me and him got along, like, you know, because a lot of people shun away from him because, you know, who he is. I'm like, I'll sit by him every day because he actually made the day fun. Like, he would goof around, you know, whatnot. Interesting. And when it came up to, like, I was noticing a trend that all of our supervisors and all of our managers, they were all female. And so I was watching the supervisors and, like, they weren't doing anything. They, they weren't doing much. And I found out what was going on was that they would actually promote the people who were lazy. So the people who actually did their job was actually making them look good. So they kept the good people down low and right. kept their job going right and actually promoted the lazy people. And so when I went for a promotion, I was told I couldn't have it because I was too good at my job and they wanted <laughs> to keep me where I was. And so that's when I told them I quit. Yeah. Uh, but, you know? you know, it's that way. I mean, I was in the trades for yeah, I want to hear your 40, thoughts 48 years, right? Because yeah, you're in that different industry. So yeah, well, it's union trade. So would I. So... I don't care if you're a guy or a girl. You're gonna get the same rate. You is know, that everybody gets paid the that's same. The you got to go there to supervision. Get it. It's a set rate. So whether you're male or female, that's what you're gonna make. Okay, right? I'll look it up. But it's the same thing that you're talking about too, Brian. Yeah, everybody wants to run it. Was 25 years in the field. I I ran produce. That's what was my forte. I ran 
difficult, hellacious schedule, crazy budgets. But I was good at it. I was passed up by guys I would train to go into the office or become superintendents. And why? I was too good in the field to move <laughs> up as a supervisor because they didn't want to lose my ability out there running the projects. So you well, can't get too good at something yeah. where it helps stop right. your advancement from going up. Right. Well, well, that's exactly the thing. Is because like what they know is that they can put anybody in that supervisor, supervisor position, and they will still do good because that crew is what makes them good. Exactly. It's not why they're good yeah. or who who they are that make them good. It's like yourself or like myself or like yeah. Morgan's story. It's the crew is actually making that thing run and not the head, the person. No, and I, I mean I was self sufficient in my job, so I mean I nope. didn't purchasing this stuff. I didn't need a supervisor over me. And yeah. I rarely had anybody supervise me because really like one, one, I could do their job. They didn't need to come and tell me what to do because I actually could tell them how to do their job, right? So yeah, absolutely. Left me alone. Like cool. But I never got yeah. to that point where I was the big boss because they Yeah, know, but then but then, then in turn you should actually be getting paid more than a supervisor because now you're actually doing their job. But he's union, so that'll never happen. Yeah. Exactly right, and, that, and that's kind of my point. Is yeah. is uh, you just disconnected, John? Something. Yeah, John, you just yeah, screwed something up. Way to go! But I mean, I mean that that's happened. But I mean, on the flip side of that coin, oh, I mean, I I used to manage shops. Like I used to, you know, hire and fire people. I would actually hire females because they were actually good at sales, and I knew that from from the get go. Oh, that makes perfect like, sense. That's that's just what they do. Servers, good example. Most servers are female because most females are actually good at serving jobs. Like they're the girls. Like it's it's true though, it, but it's very yeah. true. Like it, it's it's sad to say that, but it's actually true. Like if yeah. if like say Bob goes to like like a uh, uh, like a wings restaurant and like a, a a more of attractive female serves him, he's going to tip more than a female <laughs> a gay guy is serving him. Because the fact that you know he enjoys the service that she was giving, even though the service is exactly the same, everything else. But like you know, well, most if guys. The, if the service was the same, if the service was the same, I would tip the same. There you go. Yeah, well, I've I've and, tipped guys just as much as I I, I tip. And, and to let, 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 for all yeah. the guys on the panel, how many times have you stayed at a restaurant longer and ordered more drinks or more appetizers or whatever because of your waitress? I've one thousand yeah. percent done that. Well, yeah, I mean, a lot absolutely. of them are, like right on top of you. Where if, if it was a guy, <laughs> I I would have ate ate my drank my beer and left. But because it was a girl mm -hmm. and I we got you know she was talkative, we got along, yeah. all that. Yeah. I stayed longer, paid, spent more money there. Yeah, so, and that's not a that's not actually a sexist thing to say though. It's that's not, it's not that's, it's that's, that's the thing. It's, it's, just a better right. service. it's capitalism. Right. I mean, it's it's, right. it's the way it's it's the way it works. It's yeah, capitalism. I mean, why why do you think like restaurants Maybe like? I get that tatted. If I didn't have yeah. my chest tattoo, I'd get it right yeah. here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, well, she was right. She was just doing. She's just doing a good job. She's doing her right. Job. I mean, yeah. right. I mean, I mean, why why do you think that restaurants like Hooters or Twin Peaks or? Uh, like okay, Big Daddy's or all that stuff, or actually, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm saying, I'm saying peaks in Texas. You can't, you can't yeah, put I'm just somewhere. saying, no, why do you think that they're successful? It's not because of their food, I guarantee you that. Well, you oh, don't food, their food is food. horrible. I mean, yeah, I'll be honest with you, I won't go in there and eat because no. the food is just horrible. Well, I, I don't mean, care how good looking she is, and they don't know how I'm not eating in there, dude. No, they don't. Well, okay. That's straight so, up fast food. Dude. Right. Just, straight just up fast. Food. Out, but then the so, so I, I used to take. Good at Hooters, right? Well, I'm sorry. They're so pretty good. good. Yeah, but they're not all Hooters. No. Right. Yeah, so, yeah. like, I, uh, John, John kind of knows this. Like, I've taken road trips for, for some expos I went to and stuff like that. And one of the sauce that we came on the way back it was me and two other guys. We stopped at this restaurant at like, it's like. I don't know, like nine nine PM or so, I'd say, and we actually spent the night in St. Louis, no, no, Kansas City, sorry. And it was a restaurant. There was like really nobody in there, and our waitress's uh, shift was over at like ten o'clock. So we we just said like, you know, we're from out of town. <coughs> you know, if your shift's over, why don't you just sit down and like BS with us for a while? You know, we just want to chit chat for a while and just you know have some fun. We're not looking to take anybody home or anything else like that. You know, we just want like we just got a car trip. 
we just you know want to converse with somebody other than ourselves. And she was there, mm-hmm. and she's like, yeah, sure. And so she actually got a really good tip out of the deal because she actually stayed after the shift and just chit chat with us for a while. And we just had a good time, had a few drinks. Well, I did. <laughs> and and then and then we just part ways and just that's it. But I mean, for her to take the time to do that and just not like just bolt right away, I'm like that kind of meant a lot to the people that were there. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I mean, I guarantee you, we probably we probably wouldn't have done that. <laughs> If it was a, a male server versus a female server. Yeah. Oh, no. I mean, the bartenders I... were there and all that stuff too, you know, but, you know, we weren't looking to do anything. We we're just like, so what's this town? Like, how, how is the other restaurants here? Because we were looking to get breakfast. We want kind of want to know a good place to go to, you know, before everything else, you know. Well, let, let's ask Morgan. Does it matter if it's a good looking guy server? In terms of like how I tip, you mean? Or like just. Just like in general. In general. I mean, not really. Well, it's it's funny because the it's, the if it's person, Brad Pitt. Well, I mean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Brad Pitt equivalent. Yeah. Or Matt, Matthew Brad, McConaughey. Brad Pitt is serving style. your table. Brad Pitt. Yeah. 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 See, if they're serving your table, would you tip Does more? Go from a five dollar to... tip to a ten dollar tip. Yeah. It, it, yeah, if you I mean, tip okay. them more, now we're yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. See, yeah. Like, yeah. You know, yeah, if you tip them more, they will come back. That's how servers are. The more that you tip them, the more they pay attention to your table. The and that's how this is. Is down that down the restaurant the that I used to that that right I now there, work at? Her, so uh, they, oh, sorry. They, there's no incentive because you're not supposed to tip them, right? Right. So, but I go down there and then I'll I'll find the bartender at the pool. I'll find the bartender at the lounge, and I'll find my favorite usual spot I hang at the pool, yeah. and I will take care of those four people. Yeah, right off the bat. Right, right. hell yeah. And I will never wait for a drink. Never wait for a drink. <laughs> oh yeah, we used to do the same thing when all yeah. these guys would go because Nino's yeah. is the bar. Yeah, Nino's. This bar we always go to classic for that is shit. right by my house, and so me and my buddies every Friday night. We we're there for a couple of years. We went religiously every Friday night. Well, the girl that bartended in the back, I had known her in the past, like lightweight, but we would always no. That was the thing is yeah. she wasn't like wasn't like she was some you know super oh, hot so chick. She was yeah. older, and, yeah, yeah. but she was a nice she was a nice lady. And but we would always tip her fat yeah. at the end of the night every time. I mean, one time my buddy got drunk and I was outside getting food, and he was like, "I'll get your card because I'm getting mine." I had like a $25 tab and he tipped her 50 bucks on my card. And just, <laughs> a, just as a joke. Yeah. And, but we would, me would always do it cause we would trade off getting drinks. And so right. at the end of the night, I mean, we're there from like nine, 10 o'clock till like two in the morning. Both of me and him would both tip her like 25 bucks a piece at yeah. least yeah. on our, and so she always knew that. So when, when people would, there'd be 15 people in line, I would hold my hand up in the back. Yeah. How yeah. many beers I wanted, right. and she would put them, pop them, and put them out on the thing, and I would right. walk past everybody to grab them. Right. It was just because she always knew we would always take care of her. Yeah. We weren't gonna just give her a dollar per beer. Like no, I mean, I used to go down to the club so in Mexico. We'd go out there with with all the youngins. We were like the older people. We go into we had VIP, and and I'd sit down and I and I'd go over to the waitress or the waiter like that, and I would I grease his pump, and I and he goes, Senor, I said. And they go, that's because we, we never want to see the table empty for drinks. Yeah. Right? The girls would sit there, you know, single girls, they take up all from the door going, no, no, no. we never want to drink. Somebody else is waiting for drinks. I said, you got to take care of the one who's going to serve you. Yeah. Yep. I said, if you, if, you, if you take care of them right up front, tell them what you want, what you're expecting, you tell them what to compensate for. We never, we never back to the cocktails at our table. Everybody else is traveling. John, we need to go on a trip with Bruce. We need to go to Bruce. We need to go to, go to Mexico with Bruce. Are you down? John, you're breaking up. Oh, are we there? Is Bob frozen? Oh, no. no there he, he looks is. like he is. <laughs> Bob, wake up, Bob. Can you hear me? Really? Really? You look tired, Bob. Yeah. No, so, I'm so, so Morgan Mexico. had us. So, okay, before Mike starts talking, or sorry, Bruce. 
Morgan did have a story that she was trying to put out there real quick. Oh, yeah. Uh, Morgan. Sorry, Morgan. We cut you off there. No, no. So the, the funny thing was is that the restaurant that I work at now, I had been going to, you know, all the time because it's a sushi restaurant, and it's kind of the one that's, like, closest to me that's actually, like, really, really good. And the head waitress there would just, like, talk with me, like, you know, all the time. We, we found out that we both really like, you know, reptiles and, and that, you know, we keep, like, a ton of animals. And and at the time, I was working at PetSmart, and I just, like, I needed to get out of there. And she told me, she's like, she's like, hey, you know, come. Well, and plus, I, I knew the owner, you know, too. And so she was like, yeah, you know, just, you know, come on by, you know, fill out like the application, th you know, you know, th you know, thing or whatever. And it, I was pretty much hired like right there on the spot pretty much. Cause I, it was just like coming in, you know, so much. And I got, you know, just, just knew everybody. And so it was like instant, you know, so I had the job and I've been working there like almost a year now. So. Yeah. It's yeah. just one of those things. The thing, yeah. that's the thing that I hate about like, you know, people make it like a bad thing, like, oh, it's not what you know, it's who you know. Like, and, I mean, everybody else, everybody gets a leg up in life. Yeah. You know, somebody may know somebody and they have an in. Like, you know what I mean? It's just, yeah. that's just life. You can't be mad about that All kind right. of thing. You know what I mean? Right. Because they may, just because, you know, this person may have like an in for this job or whatever because they know somebody. But this other person may know somebody that works at a car dealership and they get fifteen thousand dollars off their car. Right. You yeah. never know what it's gonna be. Yeah. But yeah. it's just you can't worry about other people. I think that's the biggest problem. Is everybody's like, oh, it's not fair, this isn't fair, this isn't fair. Life isn't fucking fair. Life is a bitch. Because if, if if it was easy, she'd yeah. be a slut. She'd you win or lose you know? because the participation like, trophy just, ain't gonna do shit. Exactly. <laughs> it's just, yeah. Life is fucking it's hard. hard. It, it, and if you compare yourself to everybody else. Like there's people that make millions of dollars. Like you don't think I would like to have millions of dollars and not have to yeah, fucking right. work? Yeah. yeah, I would, but that ain't my life. Yeah, capitalism so, was capitalism. There, I mean, I mean, there there's a reason there's why pharmaceutical companies hire beautiful women to sell their 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 their, their products. products. Yeah. I mean, they do. They, oh come on now, now if you tell, <laughs> no, no, I've seen them come into the doctor's offices. They're, the doctors aren't there to get the free. They're not there to get the free pens. I'm sorry, John. 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 A good example is like the vape models. Is what? Vape models. Vape oh, models. vape vape models. Vape models. Vape mo well, just take vape models out of it. I'm just talking about like the the, the girls that are going into doctors' office selling. Mm -hmm. Drugs for pharmaceutical companies. What doctors' offices? They, 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 they're, they're, Sorry. Hey, hey. John, you're breaking up again. You're frozen. John's not frozen. You're not probably, it, John, you're frozen. Is good your your daughter's not probably good looking. No, no homo. But, but she's probably looking smart at you, as well. I would imagine your daughter's I'm not probably saying they're not. Woman. I'm not saying she's they're not smart. But, she but there's smart. a reason. She, she got her degree from Stan State. Yeah. Else okay. I mean, yeah. I mean, there's a reason. But the good looks don't hurt. No. The good no. looks don't hurt. Good I looks mean, have never hurt a woman. Not, they're not there for the free she's, and she's good and looking. The free, and, she's and the free yeah. fucking straw. She's got it all. Yeah. She's got it Bob, all. Bob, what were you going to say? Bob, what were you going to say? So you were talking about sometimes getting a, a leg up on this, getting a leg up on that. I was in my 30s, and my nephew had just turned like 21. So we were out bar hopping one night. So we walked into, um, God, the old yellow house on McKinley, oh, yeah, but it was a Mexican yeah, place at the time. That thing has been it was so a Mexican crazy. place at the time. So <laughs> my nephew goes, well, it's my turn to get beers. Let me go up. And I saw the bartender. I said, tell you what, let me go up and get them because, you know, I've got to buy one, get one free policy with this guy. There was, there was not a bar in Modesto when I was in my late 30s that I didn't know at least one bartender and I was drinking for free part of the night. Yeah, Bob, but like Bob, you said, Bob, that's Bob a big, that, that is just circumstance. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That was just a leg up on everybody else because at that time I was in every bar almost, you know, once a week. Well, right. Like, like Bob's got a book. Like I, I, I see what they do for you when you walk in the Tories, Bob. 
I can just imagine what they did in other places. So <laughs> I mean, I'm well, the Tories, and they would all go, ah! right. So, so I mean, Bob's got a good point. So like, I grew up in a small town. So like, here in fr- here, like where I currently am, is, the bars are, are actually really different because if you leave and you don't pay your tab, they'll actually tack on another like twenty percent at least on your card. Like they mm-hmm. just don't care. Up up mm-hmm. in my hometown, if you didn't pay your tab, like you just got too drunk, you left. They'll actually call you and be like, "Hey," or like they'll catch you when you next come in, because they know you're mm-hmm. coming back in again. Like, "Hey, listen, mm-hmm. you didn't pay your tab last time." I'm like, "Oh God, I'm so sorry." So I'll, I'll go ahead and I'm like, "I'll I'll pay that tonight right now, and I'll give you an extra tip because it was actually my fault, you know, type thing, you know." That's why that was, you know. So I mean, service, like you know, Bob's saying, is a is a big thing. Like how you're treated at a bar is a big thing. Like I go to certain bars here in town. The reason why I do that is because. If I go to one and the, and I walk in, the bartender's like, "Hey, Brian, how's it going?" And like, they know exactly right. what I want. They don't even mm-hmm. ask; they just take it out. Here you go. I'm like, that's the bars I'm going to go to, like I, without a mm-hmm. question. Go to Minnie's before it turned into what it is now. Yeah. But I'd walk in there and and she knew Josie, right? Josie, the, the bartender. You know Josie, right? Yeah. yeah. She'd been a mainstay bartender for forever down there, right? So I'd walk in. They ask. I just wave my hands so she'd see me, and it, she'd have my beer. Already sitting on a counter, in between two people. I think you and Joe, you and Joe know who are. Yeah, Joe Joe knows Josie. The bar I go to, the the you know bartender just you know sees me walking and he and he goes, "Hey, trouble!" and just and just grabs. Yeah. You know. Okay, I'll be walking about 25 bars yeah. in the yeah. they, they know what he oh. <laughs> Morgan, what what does your bartender grab for you when you walk in the door? Well, okay. Well, sometimes he'll he'll ask because there's times where it, like I'll like change things Uh-oh. up. But there's one drink he'll make. It's uh, the screwball whiskey oh, and um, yeah. cranberry juice. <laughs> Tastes just like a PB and J. I'm I'm gonna figure out exactly what town you live in, and like call out the bartenders and like see if they actually know you. And I'm like, oh, I'm gonna create a shot. Right there, though, well, the wait, 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 wait. The bar I, I go I'm, to is so. like is is like further away from where I live. They just added. Like, Which is fine. Won't, won't help. I'm I'm gonna f- figure this out. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a shot. I'm gonna I'm gonna call it the slam door and send it over to them. And then when you walk in the door, make sure you get it. Oh, yeah. like, that's my, that's my goal right now. Like directly into his round. It'd be funny. Come on. I mean, your spider skull would be great for this. If he tells me to call the slam door, I will walk out. I'm like, Bye. I'm gone. Come on. You would you would laugh. You would not leave. You would laugh and you would actually have the shot. I'd, I'd, I'd like slap my boyfriend. I'd be like, he did it. He did it. I guess we, we touched on every topic, so is we there anything all? else? Yeah, I think we got them all tonight. I think we did all of them tonight. Who's going to think it? Well, we've been talking about everything else, random stuff. Yeah. What's that, Who's Bob? Who's doing the dishes? Uh, Mike's going to do the dishes. <laughs> yeah, okay. right. Look at <laughs> I, li- I like how I'm like Mike's getting like volunteered for everything. He's just like, no, fuck that. I'm not doing Mike shit. Mike was supposed to cook everything tonight. but I told him no. from the beginning I wasn't cooking anything. Well, no, I don't. I don't think he agreed to, do, to cooking. He, to he didn't want to listen. I, but. I think John was trying to force him to cooking, and hopefully, it's going to work. Yeah, I wanted to teach him. I think him. that I was the deal. Knowledge. I you to can still knowledge. do that without him cooking. He washed everything. He described what you're doing. Yeah, where'd your wife go? Did she yeah, who, who, go to bed? There might be. Yeah. Yeah. She did. Oh, she went to bed. She went to bed. Did your dad cook at home? Yep. Hell so yeah, well, your mom did, did it all, right? Yeah, my dad barbecues. So my your mom, mom your mom's just the very, Ital- your mom's the Italian. Yeah, Why are you still trying to pressure him to cook, John? But no, you that's said, I don't. I don't want to cook. Are. My yeah. parents are. They're just a little. Yeah, my parents Next are very step. traditional in that sense. Like, <laughs> who does the cook in there, Morgan? Uh, fifty-fifty. Mm, yeah, pretty much. So you do the good dishes. He does mac and cheese. No, no, he. <laughs> No, he can make some, you know, make some good stuff. I, I'm actually making him bring home steaks. So, oh, <laughs> nice. I'm also from 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 the bar that's got the slam door shot, right? No, from a uh, quick trip. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey, if you're ordering from Uber Eats, that doesn't count as cooking. No, no. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, that they, famous trip gas steak? Up here. I keep they keep Uber keeps sending me the yeah, you I get, get thirty dollars off for yeah. Uber Eats free. I, I get, I get to use that thing. Well, see, like with with our family, like you know, like my wife, she'll cook stuff. So fine, and then she, sometimes she'll say, "Hey, it's your turn well, to cook." And I'm like, "Hey, pizza night!" You're gonna make me a sandwich. I know pizza you know. pleases the kiddo, awesome. and like we'll all eat pizza, and I'll make sure she gets something and like her pizza the deal, and we just call her a day. You Easy dishes, her, don't worry about it. When I come to visit, she's making me a sandwich. I don't care what she says. Yeah. <laughs> be, Brian, like, be honest, on a scale of one to ten. On a scale of one to ten, how much does she like me? <laughs> <laughs> well, with or with it. or with or without my influence, huh? With oh, or shit, without without your influence, she she hate my fucking guts. Is is is, is there room for negatives? Ooh. Well, <laughs> yeah, that's what we would need if, yeah. if, I, if, I, I, if you didn't have my back. We would need negatives. I'm not going right? to be one of those guys, whatever, but I'm going to stick up for him because, like I said, what's wrong? I have. Yeah, you are too. I know you are. But what's wrong with a guy wanting what he wants? There's nothing wrong well, with that. He has well, standards. Hold on, let Brian talk about yeah. this. I want to we, okay, so, okay, so so here's the deal. Is like, like, the the mantra okay so like when we started doing the shows like the mantra that mike had on them was more like like i'm like like the like the 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 sexual male like you know this alpha over yeah this overbearing like you know this is the way women should be and that's that type thing like what have you however like the weird thing about it is like, I've, I've talked to my wife about it, and, like mike and i actually like we think alike whether he she likes it or not, <laughs> she has the same thoughts quite often. And like, if I can't put the words together, he knows what I'm talking about. So like, he's not that much of an asshole. It's just the fact that like, the way he says things gets put off in a certain way where it looks like it looks worse than actually what it is. Yeah. yeah. If that makes any sense. It's, no, that makes no. Yeah, that totally mm -hmm. makes sense. Yeah. It's the, sometimes it's the way it comes off because yeah. that's the thing is if. If you talk to most of like, I mean, well, some of my girlfriends probably hate me, but if you talk to their fam <laughs> if you talk to their families, like I've literally had ex girlfriends like one time my one my one of my ex girlfriends moms called me and was like, I'm sorry for the way that she treated you, and I'm surprised you even stayed as long as you did. Yeah, yeah. And well, I, if well, you ask I, everybody I, like all my girlfriend. I've treated all my girlfriends for the most part. Well, I've, yeah, yeah well, I know them for a long time. He's a gentleman. Uh, yeah. He's got standards. Right. He wants those standards met. If he doesn't, then he moves on. It's no different than any other woman. Woman wants a standard. She doesn't. You don't meet those standards. Just walk away. Right. That's it. Well, That's well. One it. thing I was on, I was on the way because, Bruce, like, we, we do. You don't have an overnight bag when he picks right? you up. You're going home. You get dinner. You're getting dinner. You're getting dinner. You're going home. Right. Well, well, well. That's the exact thing. And like, I, I was telling my wife, I'm like, you know. Like, if you have a chance to meet Mike, I guarantee you're going to like him no yeah, matter what. Mike's, no oh, matter yeah. what your pre thought is, I'm like, I, I know you're going to like I him. I feel like me and her would get along like, a, lo a lot. Like, he, if we yeah. actually hung out in so, person, we would so probably get along. Think about your group there, uh, uh, Brian, you know, the, the, all, the, all the boys on the show. Yeah, you tell her when me and Mike come and visit, we want to see which is no, don't tell her that. <laughs> but I want her sister to come. <laughs> yeah, we want her sister to show yeah. up. Yeah. Her sister said she would make me sandwich. Tell so, her, yeah. Tell, tell her sister's got to go. Yeah, she'll make sister me a look sandwich. cute. Yeah, she'll make me a sandwich. Not that she doesn't, because your wife's beautiful. But I'm not gonna talk about your wife. But her sister, <laughs> like the other redhead. I, 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 I currently do not know if she has a boyfriend or married, so it doesn't count. I think she looks good. Mar married and two kids. Oh uh, shit! Well, she's so, a beautiful woman too. So, so much for that, John. Like, Damn it! Pass. I can't talk. I can't talk dirty about her either. Yeah. Bob, you have any final thoughts? You've been quiet tonight. No, no, it's been a fun time topics. listening and learning. On all the topics, any final thoughts? You're still babysitting the dogs. Uh, no, they, it's just like I said, it's been fun listening and learning. Are, are the dogs behaving, Bob? Uh, they are now. Yeah. <laughs> Every time you turn the mic off, Every time you turn the mic off, it's we have problems, but. Did you, you give him find a, now? Joe Retorto, famous 
uh, Benadryl popsicles. <laughs> Actually, the one I'm watching is real good. It goes straight to its dog kennel, and my dog will get close to the kennel, then they'll start, you know, growling at each other and stuff. It's, you know, two angry alpha females here. You know what I'm saying? Alpha female. Does that exist? Morgan, any final thoughts on any of the topics we talked about tonight? No, but you guys, like, got me, like, half crying from laughing. (laughs) (laughs) Well, that's good. Yeah. That's a good thing. <clears throat> Always a fun time on the show. Yeah, yeah. the the best that's the best part about the whole thing is wi- women love me and hate me all at the same yeah. time. They don't know what to think. They're like, damn it, he's cute, but he's mean, but he's nice, but he's sweet, but he can be an asshole. I just don't know what to think. It's great. I love it. Mike, Stay just be yourself, way. Mike. Be yourself. We love you. Oh, for you. I, I am, and that's why they that's why they feel that way about me. He's an alpha male. He's an alpha male. I wouldn't go that far, but you're an alpha. Come on, man. You're the leader of the pack. You're together with your uh, boys. That's because I'm, re- I'm just responsible. Yeah, you're the responsible. Brian, any final thoughts? Not a whole lot. Like you know, I mean, here, here's here's the deal. Like if, if you if you want to like project project yourself a certain way, don't do that. Just be yourself. And like you know, good things will come to those who actually are you. Versus you trying to be pretend to be somebody else. That's my best mm-hmm. thing. Well, yeah, like, especially you know. if you're trying to find somebody. Like, I mean, you're gonna. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you're trying to be somebody else, I mean, eventually, you're you know what I mean. Like, what are you gonna do? Pretend right. to be somebody else? They're gonna, you're, they're gonna you know, figure it out. You're gonna right. figure it out. Yeah. Eventually, yeah. you're gonna have so, to be yourself, and then shit's gonna hit the fan. So yeah. Bruce, so yeah. Any final thoughts back there? The tan motherfucker back there. <laughs> no. Hey, by the way, by the way, uh. I'm not talking to John. I'm talking to uh, Mike and Bruce. How was the food? Me and Brian wouldn't know. Good. It was good. It was good. Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck, Bob? What the fuck? What the fuck, Bob? We haven't killed over yet, so it, it's a good sign. So if the, I chicken, made, yeah. the chicken was cooked perfect. Okay. He better Joe perfect the chicken. From Joe Ritorio. They, they 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 live in a strong Italian family, yeah. and they and they're men that cook. Yeah. I know they cook. So and besides, we're single guys. We yeah. yeah, yeah. It could be fucking yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, what is that microwave? It, it could, yeah. TV yeah. dinner. It could be spaghettios. It, it could be a hungry yeah, yeah spaghettios. Hungry I'll, I'll tear yeah. some yeah. some spaghettios up. <laughs> it, it could be a hungry man. It don't matter. <laughs> the yeah. one us, us single guys. You know, sometimes we just can't be that big. So, yeah. You know. yeah. Mike, anyway. Mike, any final thoughts? Uh, all the topics. No, no. This was a. It was fun. I yeah. actually enjoyed doing this. This yeah. was great. Thank you, Morgan, for coming on and yeah. bringing the woman's voice. We love Morgan. We gotta oh, get more gals, gals behind the camera, there. You know. Yeah. Well, we had we had a couple lined up, but uh, it was that time of the month. Yeah. So, <laughs> I don't know what has what happened to Jen. Did we scare her away? It was that time. Oh, she would have bit my head off. I love you, Jen. Sorry, I said that out loud on live. She listening? Love you, Jen, but she would have killed me tonight. Yeah, she would have killed us tonight. She would have killed me tonight with my taste. We would have all been sacrificed to the devil tonight. Brian, tell Amanda, I love her, and I love, I love. Going, I love a woman that can challenge me conversationally. Yeah, that's it. That's what. It that's is. a huge thing for me. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. You know, a woman any, any that will woman actually is, go back and forth. Any woman is sexy does, after two bottles. She doesn't. Does, she doesn't pull any punches when she talks to us. No, <laughs> and that's and I love that. <laughs> and we well, we see, see Mike. You that's yeah. we, do, we do love having you on. Morgan. We always <laughs> love having you. at least one female perspective on the show. Well, you know, none of the fun. gals that watch the show actually. Hold back. Yeah, because we're a bunch of misogynistic pigs, so we need a woman we to have, balance us out. I think every woman that watches this show is yep. is truly an alpha <laughs> female. Yeah, they don't hold back. <laughs> Most of them are. Yeah, yeah. I think so. I, I think, I think, Morgan, I think Morgan would stab us all yeah. in a dark alley. <laughs> maybe. Yeah, maybe. Well, no, she she would go after me first, and then after you guys. After I think she would stab Brian first. Yeah. And then yep. take his piercing. Yeah. There is no doubt in my mind that Amanda would go for my throat <laughs> yeah, <Amanda>. real quick. <laughs> Mike would be the first one dead. I think she'd just be so satisfied with that. She would leave the rest of you yeah. alone. <laughs> and I think Bob would just coordinate the whole thing. Bob would just coordinate the whole Yeah, go after Brian first. Yeah. Yeah. Job. Bob is our ladies' man. Bob is our ladies' man. <laughs> the women love Bob. What about Bob? 
Bob would be singing Lionel Richie while we're being stabbed. Exactly. <laughs> Oh my god. I would be like easy. easy. Oh my god. <laughs> and she's stabbing us. <laughs> oh shit. That's it for us. We'll see everybody next Friday. Hope you enjoyed right. the show. And we are out. Oh. See it. See it. See it. Uh oh, which one? The wrong one. Oh, yeah. Bang. Oh.